And now, race fans, it is now time for opening ceremonies. If you please could rise and remove your racing gear. Here to perform the invocation here tonight, going to be Mr. Rob Lee. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we are so thankful for this day. We are thank you, thankful for so many fans that are in the stands today as we celebrate racing today as we wrap up the season at salem speedway we thank you so much lord for this racing season we've had here so much work that's been poured into this track we thank you for that for the officials for the safety team for the vendors everyone involved especially for those racers that get out there and drive each week lord we thank you for them and their sponsors those that support them and their families god we thank you for the protection that you have shown over the track this year we ask for your continued protection and guidance today for these races father we thank you for the freedoms that we celebrate in this country because of the men and women who serve this country both here and abroad we thank you for them we ask your blessing and protection upon them as well as they continue to serve god watch over us today may we be blessed by the racing that takes place and god bless america in jesus name amen and now to perform the national anthem miss callie oh taking news by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last green, whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched so gallantly streaming in the rocket's Bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night That our flag was still there Oh, said us its dust-spangled banner away Good job, Miss Callie. Let's give her a round of applause. Know how nerve-wracking that can be. She did a fantastic job. And welcome, race fans, to the 35th running of the Halloween 200 here tonight. Presented by Kentucky Anna Ford dealers. Will Greenwell in the booth with you. Hawk Carroll Adams as well. And Hawk Carroll Adams, we got done at 1 a.m. last night. We got about three hours of sleep. We geared up. We got here at 8 a.m. this morning, bright and early. And here we go. We're finally to the main event day at the Halloween 200. Yeah, we're ready to get this afternoon going here. Nice, cool afternoon. Good to see everybody out here in their warm winter gear. Y'all know how to dress for this weekend. It's always a little cool. At least it is dry, and that's what we need. Got a good racing service out there, it looks like. Yeah, we had a busy night last night and this morning, if you will. But we are ready to get things rolling here this afternoon. And we need all the Legend Series drivers to make your way to staging. We want to keep this show moving along prompt and as well as possible. Legend Series drivers, you need to be making your way to staging as Ashton Morello's number 11 going to pull out to the straightaway. We can't thank all of our great partners and marketing partners enough for making this Halloween 200 weekend very special. NOS Energy Drink, Derby City Recycling, of course, the title, Kentucky Anna Ford Dealers. We appreciate each and every one of them for making this weekend such a great weekend. At least it's not raining. We have the wind, of course, last night. A little bit of wind out there this afternoon. Three races on the docket here this afternoon, all going to kick off by the Max Auto and Recycling Legend Series. They will be competing in a 30-lap main event on the inner track, the quarter mile here at Salem Speedway. And then we'll go into the Red Ball and Recycling Scrappers Division. They will be doing 25 laps around the kidney bean. And then, of course, it's going to be the big Halloween 200. And that will be a little bit later on in that main event here at Salem Speedway.
Don't forget concession stands down on the main concourse behind the main grandstands inside turn one in the pit area. Also down there, merchandise. Also, Jamie Beerman Harbin is down there signing merchandise as well. She's selling. Jamie Harbin picked up the small track win yesterday afternoon. She is down there in the concourse as well with her merchandise. So check it out down in the main concourse. So Max Auto and Recycling Legend Series, Hawk Harrod Adams. We've seen a little bit of carnage earlier in practice a little bit later on. Of course, turn three wall, Johnny Weaver hit the wall very hard in practice a little bit earlier on on the inner track. Don't know if that car is going to make it back out here. Don't know if that's going to happen. Yeah, you see Legend cars now moving around, working their way to the short track. We do have a pretty good field of cars. We had quite a few of them in practice and qualifying. We'll see how many of them make the bell. As Will said, we had one or two of them have a little issues there. But we still have a pretty good field, good strong field as well. So we'll try to get a starting lineup here in just a moment here as the cars make their way to the grid now. This, of course, being the Max Auto and Scrap Metal Recycling Legends would be the Kentucky and a Ford dealer's 30-lap feature. So on the post, scheduled to be the number 19 of John Robbins, the outside Aston Morello number 11 machine. Inside row number 2, scheduled to be the 33 of Clayton Bohannon. To his outside, the 24 of Sam Johnson. Inside row number 3 is the 9W, the Charlestown Indy and a little Sunday baby goods machine of Hunter Willis. In that 9W, outside Xavier King, the Indianapolis Speedrome track champion in the mini-link models. Inside row number four, scheduled to be the number 59 of Corey Adams from Indianapolis, Indiana. The outside, the number eight car of Eddie Fortside, I believe, the number eight machine. Looking on back from there in the number inside row number five, that is the ninth starting spot. That is Zach Brady's number three car, the Yay Buddy Motorsports entry. To his outside, the 9V machine, that is going to be, I believe, Van Over's number 9W. Looking on back from there, inside row number six is going to be Kristen Hammer's number four car and Vount Oss, number 35V. Then Fort Sites inside row number seven, outside Van Over's number 94V. That is Douglas Van Over. Inside row number eight is the number 14 of Tim Skinner Jr. Outside is the number 54 machine of Drake Wood from Indianapolis, Indiana. And then starting on the tail, it is going to be the number 84 machine of Jack Receiver from Floyd Knobs, Indiana, and the Jack, John, and Katie Racing entry here for the Legend Series. It's going to be a good event, Hawk. I know you're going to have down there in Red Ball and Recycling Victory Lane, the winners at the end of this one. And this is going to be something. It's good to see this many legends coming out here with us at Salem Speedway. Yes, yeah, good field of cars, good competitive field as well. So they are making their way onto the track now to get assembled for this first event of this nice Sunday afternoon. Once again, great everybody could be with us here. A little cool out there. See everybody's got their blankets and hoodies. As uh, Will mentioned, Jamie Beerman Harbin down there selling some of the merchandise. Also, Salem has her set up down there near the concession stand there on the concourse. Also have my Race 8 hoodies down there. Not very many of them left. I know they ran out of Halloween 200 hoodies. Now, if you still want one of those hoodies, they are taking orders for them. You can give them your information, and they will actually mail those to you if you really want one. But if you need one today, uh, there's a few of them left, a limited supply of Race 8 hoodies. That is my uh, Facebook and website page following Figure 8 Racing and more. I've got my hand in a little bit of everything, but, of course, Figure 8 is my main thing. But love coming up here to Salem as well, helping out Will Greenwell as I am – this weekend, of course, he needed the help, of course, with all the action that's going on for this weekend, especially last night during that six-hour marathon of a race. We hope this 200 lap doesn't last that long, but, of course, that was almost 70 cars, so you can imagine how that went. Yeah, you know, there was a lot of storylines coming into last night's Crown Vic race, 66 cars. We knew there were going to be a lot. We talked amongst ourselves. Now, we may have not have known that it was going to be that long of a race. Let's not be, uh, you know, shying away from that. But, you know, it, it was a emotionally draining race for those drivers. You know, we, we, we talk about how we were cold and, and tired up here in the stands watching. Think about those drivers who were out there over five hours in those cars last night. I mean, we had guys 
you know, not feeling well after they got out and everything like that. But Noah Allison picked up that win. Well deserved. If you can get through a five and a half hour race in a 200 lap Crown Vic with 66 cars, you've done something well. And he picked up the Derby City Recycling Spooky 200 win last night. Of course, second place, Daniel Durrett and J Larson, um, excuse me, Larison's number 87. Jeremy Larison, that is, picked up that third spot. And they told me after the interviews were over and the mic was off, that they just throw that car together. And uh, it was a last-minute decision for Larison to run. So uh, very cool to see that car uh, finish in that third spot. Legend Series cars lining up on the racetrack. They are being sponsored this year by Max Auto and Recycling. As we get these cars out there in line, who's going to do it here tonight? Who's going to pick up the win? Now, we've seen the number 11 of Ashton Morello. He, he's kind of went upside down here before at Salem Speedway down the front stretch. We've seen that. Uh, you know, he's raced everywhere from Speed Drome, Anderson, down here at Salem Speedway. But, you know, you talk about that number 84 out there of Xavier King. He is the 2023 Speed Drome combined champion in the mini late model oval and figure eight at the Indianapolis Speed Drome. Pretty impressive. Yeah, kind of a new thing that they started last year up there at Speed Drome. Mini late models. They run oval and figure eight. It's a combined point deal. And Xavier had a great run this year taking that championship. Yeah, it's it, now those mini late models do kind of run the same exact setup as a legend car. The Yamaha engines inside for the power plant. So that was something that kind of started at the Indianapolis Speed Drum and kind of evolved from there. Car count went up up there this year as Xavier Kings also picked up many legend wins up there at the Indianapolis Speed Drum. And that's a fifth mile. So now on a quarter mile here. We see a lot of different variations of Legend Series tracks throughout the nation. Of course, Charlotte Motor Speedway, known very well for the Legend Series Nationals down there, and I believe that's $1 million to the winner. And they have, I think, four or 500 Legends, also Bandoleros and stuff like that down there at Charlotte Motor Speedway. But we're going to see who's going to pick up the first checker flag of the afternoon here. Coming up next will be the Scrappers, and then we will line the cars up for the introductions for the Halloween 200 presented by Kentuckiana Ford Dealers here at Salem Speedway. So waiting to get all of these cars lined up in the correct spots. So trying to get the black 35 of Olmstead. That is Max Olmstead in the correct spot. And that is what the race officials are trying to decipher right now on the track. That is the hold up right now currently. So don't forget, race fans, in the Halloween 200, we have great lap sponsors. Kara Gale kind of threw those together, and everyone who came on board, we announced 1 through 20. Now we'll do 21 through 30 on laps for the Halloween 200. Lap 21 being sponsored by Lefevre's Kirby. Clem Signs and Restyling, lap 22. Solar Control winning tinning, that is lap number 23. Colin Grisham Racing, lap 24. Brett Hudson Motorsports, lap 25. In memory of River Bushel in that 26th spot. All-Star Truck Repair, lap 27 in memory of Michael K. Jones, 28th in memory of Michael K. Jones, 29th, and Lefevre's Kirby, lap 30. Those are $10 a lap for the Halloween 200 today, so we thank all of the lap sponsors who came on board. And, of course, all of our 2023 sponsors, you see PNC back on board as the Pit Road sponsor, and that Pit Road saw a lot of action last night, that's for sure, and we'll see a lot of action here this afternoon. Red Ball and Recycling for our 2023 
Victory Lane. And then, of course, you can see all of our marketing partners down the inside retaining wall down on PNC Pit Road. Want to thank NOS Energy Drink for coming on as the official energy drink of the Salem Speedway. Red Ball Recycling, of course, Jasper Group, Kentucky Anna Ford Dealers, Hoosier Lottery back on, O'Reilly Auto Parts, Tumbleweed Corporate Sponsors, TLG, Peterbilt of Louisville. Of course, John Jones, Chevrolet, P Po Boys, Barbecue, PPG Paints. General Tire, of course, Arkham Menard Series Race was the Atlas 200. We celebrated the 109th Arkham Menard Series Race here at Salem Speedway. And if you haven't been here or you weren't here last night, brand new scoreboard on the back straightaway. That was just installed for this weekend. So beautiful new scoreboard. That banner at the top lights up. A beautiful, beautiful looking scoreboard here at Salem Speedway now. So, Hawk, Harold Adams, what are you going to expect here in this 30-lap Legend Series race? I think we have a good battle up front. we got some good cars out there. We've seen these guys up front a lot. Of course, we talked about Xavier King in the 84 being a strong runner. Of course, Sam Johnson in the 24, Morello in the 11. So, we got a lot of heavy hitters up front. Bohannon in 33. So, a lot of heavy hitters up front for this Kentucky and Ford dealers. 30-lap features. They roll out now as we get ready to get underway here with our first event of the afternoon. Field rolls away. Here we go. John Robbins up on the point. He will be your pole sitter. Ashton Morello outside row number one. Now, Ashton Morello has won a lot of Legend Series events as well. There's Clayton Bohannon inside row number two. And the outside of him going to be that number 24, Sam Johnson, the Fisher, Indiana native, in that number 24, J2 Engineering Consultants, Edsel Racing Development Machine. Getting ready and set for the Max Auto and Recycling Legend Series here at Salem Speedway. The first event of the afternoon getting ready to take place as the sun trying to peek out here over Salem Speedway. As yellow flag out by Barry down there on the flag stand. Here we go. Legend Series action. 30 laps. Now the big story is on this inner track here, Hawk. The flat banking, it gets you a lot, and it's easy to run off on the apron because you want to stay as close to that apron as possible, but you don't want to fall off the groove. No, there isn't a whole lot of lead way right there. You get off in that groove a little bit, drops off a little bit, you get down in the dirt and you get down in the grass, and it's going to mess you up a little bit. Plus, it's going to kick a lot of dust up onto the track as well. It's really tough to run that outside groove, but we've seen these legends do it before, so we'll see what happens here this time as we're getting ready to get green here really soon one to go next time around they say now one to go next time around you see these guys getting their tires warmed up a little bit get them heated up for this kentucky and a ford dealers 30 lap feature first event of the afternoon for the max auto and scrap metal recycling legends so yep two by two they'll see the one to go signal at the line the first event the max auto and recycling scrap max auto and recycling scrap division we'll get that out in a minute here as we are of course we are very tired here at salem speedway but uh getting ready for another great day of a broadcast here at salem speedway but here we go one to go at the line john robbins now you got to have a good start here but you can't fire too early we've seen that yesterday a lot of false starts so here we go two by two they bunch up hawk coming to the green flag off turn number four for the auto and scrap recycling legend series Looking to go green, a little bit of contact. Look at those Robins down in the grass right away. So no start, no start. We've seen a lot of contact. They look like we was going to go green right there, but made a little contact. The 19 veered off into the grass. Yeah, you got to be quick. Of course, it'll be a total restart now. They will be towed to kind of calm it down just a little bit as John Robbins will go up and get that inside first spot again for the number 19 machine. Coming to one to go this time. We're going to try it again. One to go at the line. John Robbins, Astro Morello, 
Clayton Bohannon and Sam Johnson. Your top two rows getting ready and set. 30 laps set to be the distance in your first event of the afternoon. The field will bunch up, heading down the back straight away right now. We're going to try this for a second time as they get ready to come to the start. Here we go. All right, let's see if we can get a better, cleaner start this time. This time around looking good. Green flag out. Here we go. Ashton Morello burst out to the early lead right now. Good start for Ashton. Ashton Morello now in point. He got a good start. John Robbins goes back to the number two spot. Clayton Bohannon battles with that one. But we got problems through the back of the pack. And trying to see who that is over there. It turned around in turns three and four. That possibly is Van Aust, number 35 machine. So what they're saying is it will be a total restart. So that is Van Aust, number 35 machine. As the Impact Rescue Safety Team here at Salem Speedway will come out to clean up that debris with the sweeper. So Van Aust, number 35, going to join. It will be a total restart. So track crew out there to pick up a little bit of the debris left behind by one of the other trucks. So we'll make sure everything's good to go there. So first lap, caution right away. Hope that's not an early indication of how things are going to go. So maybe we'll just get the cautions out of the way here early. Well, like we said, it is going to be another total restart. Not one lap officially on the board. As the sun luckily pops out a little bit, we hope the clouds kind of clear on out of here and we get more sunshine. But now sun popping out here at Salem Speedway on the inner track. As we're going to try this yet again, John Robbins now on the front, Ashton Morello. Now this is one guy who is glad we had a restart. John Robbins didn't really have the restart that he wanted a while ago, so we're going to figure it out this time by, and we are back underway. Green flags out, and there's John Robbins this time with a good start. He jumps out into the lead, and Murillo had to settle back into second. Yeah, down the back straightaway they go. Clayton Bohannon trying to hold on to the inside of Sam Johnson, number 24. That is the battle right now for the number three spot. Clayton Bohannon has it, and we talk about it a lot. You do not want to be hung up on the outside here at Salem Speedway's inner track. And that is exactly what's happening to Sam Johnson right now. Once again, down the back straightaway, John Robbins is your leader. We've seen Sam Johnson here in the 24 before be very powerful, but he is having trouble on that outside groove, and he is hung up out there. There's Xavier Keem getting him on the inside. Xavier Keem moves up to fourth. Drake Wood back through the packs. Number 54 had a little bit of puff of smoke coming out from the number 54 machine, but down the front straightaway again, three laps officially on the board. John Robbins, Asher Morello, and Clayton Bohan in your top three. So as you said, that's exactly what Robbins wanted, and he's taking good advantage of it now as he is kind of Trying to put a little distance between him and Morello right now as they complete lap number four. Lap number four up on the board. It'll be 26 laps to go here in the Max Auto and Scrap Recycling Legends Series main event. 30 laps. Don't count out that number 84 of Xavier King. He is in that number four spot. Already one win of the 2023 season here at Salem Speedway. So John Robbins out front. You know, he was one that loved to see this restart again because it was Ashton Morello before the restart. And now John Robbins finds himself out. Good run by Clayton Bohannon's number 33. Right now he is in that third spot. All cars running single foul right now. They know they got plenty of time. But we'll see if anybody wants to decide to move to that outside groove. Going to be tough, but we'll see what happens as the race continues on. Yeah, we see a lot with these Legends series. The bumper is going to be used in full effect before this one's over because you got a lot of passing. Now you see Xavier King all over the back end of Clayton Bohannon there. We just talked about that. You want to push your opponent out of the groove ever so much, and that's how you're going to make a pass here. That is exactly the battle, the battle to watch right now for third. Clayton Bohannon trying to hold off Xavier King. He is all over him. Yeah, and while those two battle, going to allow Sam Johnson's number 24 to kind of reel him in. 
as the first slower traffic in front of your leader, John Robbins, is the number 84 of receiver. He is the first car threat to go a lap down in this event. So John Robbins just putting a little bit of distance between him and Ashton Morello's number 11. And we've seen Clay Bohannon get down off the track a little bit, got a little out of shape. Xavier King trying to get on the inside, and he does. So there you go. You saw Clayton Bohannon just get a little bit off the track there. That allowed the number 84 of Xavier King. But here we go. Battle for the number one spot. Here comes Ashton Morello's number 11. He's on the inside of the number 19 of John Robbins right now as they exit turns number two. Morello with that inside advantage. It looked like earlier Robbins was going to run away with it. But Morello says, no way. I am right here. And he's got that inside track. What a great race we're seeing here in the Legends Series as Ashton Morello back to the inside. John Robbins trying to pull him from the high side. Now John Robbins going to have to get in front of that number 11 and close that door. He will try, but his truck kind of car is pushing up the track just a little bit, and that's going to allow Ashton Morello to get down to his inside. Turned out to be a really good race here right now. 13 laps on the board there, side by side, going into turns three and four. And now Ashton Morello going to be your leader as the number 19 gets a little bit of bobbled there, coming to now 14 laps up on the board. Next time by, it will be halfway. Halfway next time by for the number 11 of Ashton Morello. We got a car stalled, it looks like, over in turn two, the 35. And he is coming to a stop. That's going to bring out the caution here. 14 laps on the board. Max Olmstead. Over there in turn two up against the wall, came to a stop. So they will push him off the track. Track officials to get this lineup going, and we'll see what happens now as these uh, top two cars will be battling out again. Yeah, John Robbins just trying everything he could as this car kept pushing up the track in the entries. So tough break for the number nine, 19 machine. He goes back to the number two spot, but now Ashton Morello in that beautiful black and blue and gray number 11 machine. And that car has been upside down here at Salem Speedway this year, so you don't really see legend cars flip that much of times, if you will, but uh, he did it here at Salem Speedway. But Max Olmstead's number 35. Don't know exactly what happened to that car as he just slowed with a little bit of smoke behind him as he slowed to the exit almost of turns number two right now. So 14 laps up on the board. Going to be 16 laps left to go in the opening race today. Coming up next going to be the Red Ball and Recycling Scrapper Division. They will be next. Right after that, we will begin lining cars up for the 35th Annual Halloween 200 presented by Kentucky Anna Ford Dealers here at Salem Speedway. So right now, your top five, Ashton Morello's number 11, John Robbins' number 19, the number 84, Xavier King, Clayton Bohannon's 33, and Sam Johnson rounds out your top five. Hawk here, almost to the halfway point. Looks like the 35 machine, Max Homestead, going to need a little bit more than a push. Looks like they're going to have to lift that thing up on the hook. So major problems with that machine. So they'll get him off there as they get the lineup ready to go. Then we'll double him up here, I'm assuming, here. 14 laps down, 16 to go. And this Kentucky and a Ford dealer's 30-lap event for the Legends. Got a good battle up front there. Interesting going-ons up there up in the front. Looked like John Robbins, once he took that lead on that last restart, and the 19 was going to run away with it. He put a little distance between him and Ashton Morello. But then all of a sudden, Ashton Morello started reeling. Man, we got problems over the car over there in turn three there. It is smoking up big time. Van Ost over there. All of a sudden, that thing just all of a sudden just went up in smoke. Yeah, Ryder Van Ost, I believe the Anderson, Indiana top choice fence entry and just detonate it like you talked about. All we saw was up in smoke, and that driver's going to climb from that legend car. So just something detonated on that Yamaha engine. Yeah, he bailed out of that thing. That's one way to stay warm on this day, but that's probably not the way he really envisioned it. So they're going to get that number 35 also. As you see, we were under caution for the number 35 machine of Max Olmstead, and then the other 35 of Van Alst after that, went up in smoke. So the 235s having problems here simultaneously here at Salem Speedway. Coming up next, Red Ball and Recycling, Red Ball and Recycling Legend or Scrapper Division, you need to be getting ready and set. We're going to try to move on with the program today here at Salem Speedway. 
as the Wilcox Towing and Recovery Record Service going to pull that car out to PNC Pit Road to get him back to his pit area. So tough break for the 35 of Max Olmstead. And then the Eddie Gilstrap Motors record going to take to the track to get the number 35 of Van Alst off the racing surface. So tough break here later on in the going here in the Legend Series. All right, while we got a little break here, we'll look over the lap money for the Halloween 200 coming up as we continue to look at all the lap leaders. $10 a lap for leading these laps. We're going to pick it back up at lap 31, Lefebvre's Curbing. Also doing lap 32, Lefebvre's Curbing. CJB Excavating, lap 33. Lap 34, Broom Broom Cleaning Service. Lefebvre's Curbing back on lap 35. Diesel Boys doing lap 36 and 37. Team 38 doing lap 38, of course. Pro Crafters picking up lap 39. Lap 40, Matt Johnson Racing. Lap 41, Clem Signs and Restyling. All-Star Truck Repair doing laps 42 and 43. Barnes Auto Service with lap 44. G&G Radiator, lap 45 and lap 46 as well for G&G Radiator. 47, Stivers Heating and Air. Lap 48, Stivers Heating and Air. And lap 49, Stivers Heating and Air. And lap 50, Brett Hudson Motorsports. We'll continue to look over the lap money as we continue through this afternoon as they're trying to get the other 35 off the track now and get the cars lined back up. And we continue on with the rest of this event. 16 laps to go. So you see the track crew over there putting a lot of more dust down, a little bit of stuff laid down on the track after that car went up in smoke not the afternoon that that gentleman wanted but sometimes those things happen and there you have it just kind of out of nowhere went up in smoke so they'll go and regroup and make sure that they have a better day the next time but we do have a good battle up front, a lot of good cars here, so we're going to see what happens here after the track crew gets things settled over in turn three. So there you see the number 35 of Van Oss down PNC Pit Road right now. Tough break for Ryder there in that number 35 entry. The Impact Rescue Safety Team here at Salem Speedway all geared up, cleaning up the debris over in turns number three right now here at Salem Speedway. We can't thank all of our safety team enough. I know they were working hard last night in that Crown Vic 200 event here at Salem Speedway. They worked very hard and tirelessly last night. We appreciate all of our staff here at Salem Speedway. So 14 laps up on the board, one lap shy of the halfway point. 15 laps going to be halfway, 30 laps is the total distance. Yellow flag will come back out on the speedway as the number 11 of Ashton Morello rows off. The question is, Hawk, does John Robbins have anything for him? He will be hung up on the outside. We're not close to the halfway point. We'll have to see how the race directors kind of line them up. But uh, does that 19 have anything for that strong running Ashton Morello's number 11? Yeah, we'll see what happens here. We'll get them all lined up and see. I know after the last restart, the 19 was very strong, so maybe on the restarts he is a little bit quicker. But it all is in that start, so we'll see what happens here as they get ready to get them all lined up, get this thing back underway. 
So like we said, 14 laps up on the board in the number 11 machine of Ashton Morello. John Robbins second. Xavier King goes third. 33 of Clayton Bohannon fourth. And the 24 of Sam Johnson rounds out your top five Legend Series cars. This will be an interesting restart. Restarts matter here at Salem Speedway, especially on the inner track when you have really no banking or no room for error here on the inner track at Salem Speedway. It's good to see a lot of Legend Series drivers coming out to be with us this weekend during the 35th running of the Halloween 200 weekend here at Salem Speedway, presented by Kentucky Anna Ford Dealers. We couldn't do it without all our marketing partners. You'll hear us say that a lot this weekend. But without marketing partners, we couldn't be here, and we appreciate that. Next time by, going to get the one-to-go signal at the line. Barry down there on the flag stand, getting ready to get this field back underway here at Salem Speedway. All right, there's your choose cone right there. So, Morello on the point, but there's Xavier King now. He's going to move up to the outside as John Robbins decided to stay on the inside right behind your leader. So, interesting strategy here. And the 33, Clay Bohannon, he's going to stay on the inside. He'll be in row three. So, we're going to try to go green this time around with a good start. And green flag's out. Here we go. Xavier King going to work the high side. Ashton Morello on the inside. Watch out for the 84. He's going to try to get down behind the number 11 of Ashton Morello. So now he will move into the number two spot. There is John Robbins, number 19. Everyone beating and banging with the bumpers. Clayton Bohannon now moves into the fourth spot. Sam Johnson trying not to let that 59 move to the inside. Sam Johnson still going to have that inside advantage battling for the number five spot as they go down the back straightaway. So once again, Ashton Morello, Xavier King, and John Robbins, your top three. 59 of Corey Adams still hung up on that outside, fading back a little bit. Sam Johnson's going to get him there on the inside. Sam Johnson still sticking with that number five spot, and the inside groove is where you want to be here at Salem Speedway. Over the halfway point, lap number 17, but here comes Clayton Bohannon on the inside of John Robbins. Clayton Bohannon trying to go to the number three spot, and he will do it. Makes a good mover on the inside as John Robbins in the 19 now has faded back to fourth place. Ash Morello is still your leader, but he's got the 84, Xavier King, now breathing down his neck. This is what we talked about later on in the going. You're going to have to use that front bumper if you're a Legend Series driver as they head off down to turns number three and four right now. Xavier King all over the back end of Ashton Morello's number 11 car. Right now, 19 laps on the board. Next time by, just going to have 10 more laps next time by here at Salem Speedway's inner track. As they do come around to complete lap number 20, Asperillo trying to hold off Xavier King as they put a little distance between them and third place Clayton Bohanna, who's trying to gain some ground, but time's running out for him. Yeah, next time by, going to be under that 10-lap mark as we look at the top five right now. Ashton Morello and Xavier King, top two. Clayton Bohannon, third. He's pretty much got a podium spot every time he's competed here at Salem Speedway. John Robbins. Had a good run early. He fell back to the fourth spot, and Sam Johnson has been staying in that fifth spot pretty much the entire race here at Salem Speedway today. Eight laps to go for Ashton Morello and Xavier King. Ashton Morello looking strong out there in that top spot now, keeping a little bit of distance, trying to pull away a little bit now from Xavier King in the 84. As you see Clayton Bohannon trying to close the gap. Clayton Bohannon trying to reel in those two drivers, now going down the back straightaway. So next time by, six laps to go for Ashton Morello. Xavier King running out of time now. So far, Clayton Bohannon still in that third spot. Next time by, just going to be five more trips around the quarter mile here at Salem Speedway. Xavier King at 84. Trying to size him up here. He is not giving up. He is right there. He still has time. We've seen him make some strong moves in the past. So we'll see if he's got anything left here in these final four laps. 
Asher Morello once again past the start finish line. 26 laps up on the board score now in the Max Auto and Cy Scrap Recycling Legends Series here today at Salem Speedway. Clayton Bohannon goes third, the 19 of John Robbins. Sam Johnson rounds out your top five. And, oh, Morello gets a real loose coming out of turn number four, and that's going to allow Xavier King to try to even pull him in even closer. Xavier King kind of looked to the outside, tucked back in behind Morello. So almost a, a, a bad slip there. And you see him coming up on some slower cars with just two laps to go here. So two laps to go right now. Next time by going to be white flag for Austin Morello's number 11 machine. Here comes Clayton Mohan, and he dive bombs the lap car, the number 54, Drake. White flag one more time around for Ashton Morello. Now, here we go. All three cars, top three, bumper to nose here as we go down the back straightaway. So one more time through three and four and off turn number four. And oh, and Xavier King a little bit hard into the corner, but he's going to stay in second. Ashton Morello, Xavier King, and Clayton Bohannon round out your top three as Hawk Carrot Adams heads down for a word with your top three in the podium. And Hawk Carrot Adams is going to get a word. 24 of Sam Johnson is your champion. So Hawk Harold Adams going to get a word with the champion as well. Sam Johnson's number 24. So Harold Adams will go down and get a word with your winners. So top three in Legend Series going to pull down to the, the Red Ball and Recycling Victory Lane here at Salem Speedway. Top three and Sam Johnson, the 24, is your 2023 truck champion here in the Legend Series. So Hawk Harrod Adams is going to get a word with our points champion too, the number 24, Sam Johnson. But now we're all waiting on the winner of Ashton Morello to hop out of the car. Hawk Harrod Adams, take it away. Thank you, Will Greenwell. Ashton down here going to unbuckle. Got my buddies, the photographers down here going to take some pictures. I'm sure he's happy. He's already done some celebration donuts. There he is out of the car. Let's hear it for him, Ashton Morello. Come on over here, Ashton. We'll get a word with you. All right, Ashton. A good run there today. You had some good competition up there. Y'all battled a little bit with the 19, and then you got up there, and Xavier King was right there with you. Y'all had a good run. Uh, what do you think about the car today? Uh, it, it felt pretty good for me today, and I appreciate that. Uh, my dad worked so hard on this car and everyone else at the shop, so I appreciate them so much. Looked like uh, the 19, he off a good start there, but then uh, then you came back strong. So uh, was your car doing good at first, or were you just kind of holding back? Well, I kind of let him get away and was making a couple mistakes, but then uh, I started being smooth with the wheel, and it, it, it worked out for me. We had a really good runner. Who you want to thank on your car here, sponsors and whatnot, that help you out? Uh, I want to thank LCW, ERD, uh, Scotty's All Around Service, uh, Mojo, All American, Kenny's Mowing, Bree Love Automotive, uh, ATM Motorsports, and Sheer Precision. All right, sounds good. There's your winner of the day's first event, Ashton Morello. All right, as he gets some uh, victory photos there, we'll get a uh, talk here with second place. Who we got over here? Xavier King. Come on over here, Xavier.
Xavier, how you doing, my man? Uh, you had a good run here today. You moved your way up there a little bit. You were right there, but uh, couldn't quite make the pass there. Yeah, as a inverting six and getting up to second, I'm pretty happy with that. I I felt like we had something at the end. I just kept driving it in a little too hard and just couldn't make it stick. And good job to Ashton. Them them guys deserve it. And I want to thank John Robbins for always helping me out and. Ferguson Brothers Construction and Beck Transport, and my girlfriend for making the trip down here with me. Can't forget about the women. All right, good second place finish for Xavier King. Congratulations. All right, third place, we got Clayton Bohannon. Let's get the 33 driver over here. Clayton, you had a good run there. You moved up there with the big boys, and you were kind of gaining on the first two there uh, late in the race. You had looked like he might have had a little something for you, but ran out of laps. What do you think? Yeah, I, I believe if I had another 15 laps, I could have got up past the Xavier and been in a second-place position. Like I say, a uh, 30-lap event there. You had to move your way up there. Those guys were battling. But uh, like I say, there at the end, you all moved up really good. Who do you want to thank on the car today to get you third place? I'd like to thank my family, all my fans for coming out, uh, my sponsors, g g Excavating, Nick Bohane and LLC, and uh, that's it. There you go, third place in the 33, Clayton Bohannon. All right, let's see. We're getting Sam Johnson in the 24 our track champion let's have a word with sam there he is all right sam we've seen you had some good runs here this year you didn't make it up there this tonight or today i should say but you are the track champion so well deserving so what do you think about this season this year in the legends yeah overall just a good season um just consistency was the key here but it was a really good track to race i love it racing here um just everyone else racing, it was good to race against them all, so I appreciate that from all of them. And yeah, it's a lot of good competition here, tough to win here. I know we've seen you have some really good runs here, and uh, who else you want to thank? Yeah, I'd like to thank uh, Last Chance Wreckers, uh, ERD, um, my parents, the Edsels, the Morellos, my sister, and Don Christie for the suit. All right, looking good. So there he is, your champion, 2023 season here in the Legends, Sam Johnson. All right, Will Greenwell, back up to you. Thank you very much, Hawk Carroll Adams, as well. And congratulations to all the winners of the 2023 champion, Mr. Sam Johnson. Now coming up next is the Red Ball and Recycling Scrapper Division. We will apologize in advance. They already brought me the list and said, uh, I apologize in advance. With Some of the names are kind of crazy on this, so we'll give you what we have on our roster. Could be right, always never 100% correct. But here we go. So who we have in what? I know Justin Fiedler in the 84. He's going to start outside row number one. We do know that. Phillips on the inside of row number one. George Helton in the 7H. Kel Ashbell in the number 69. Michael Phillips in the 5X. Nathan Nathaniel Frick in the number 39. JT Fouts in the double zero machine. We have Michael Phillips, number one. Clayton Sanders, number one. S. Tyler Moore's 4M. 14 of Doug Kurtz. 21R of Landon Snelling. Braden Snelling's number 12. Donnie Elrod is who we have on the list in the number 14. Andy Rolder in the number 21. 32 of Chris Rafalco from Greenfield, Indiana. 46, Marvin Phelps. Sammy Wright's number 44. Kel Ashbell in the number 46, like we just talked about. 0, 056 of Clayton Phelps. 205 of Christian Hinky. 0, 057. Brett out there, Chad Webb's 205, Alan Tarr's 514, and Remington Tarr in the 804. So they're going to try to line these cars up to the best of their ability. They will be going on the kidney bean course here this afternoon. And we will, of course, have the winner down track side at the conclusion of this one.
So getting ready and set, Scrapper Division coming up next. We have a lot of those today, it looks to be. Like we said, we do apologize for the names on these drivers. They were changing them at the pit shack right and left, so we're going to do our best at least to give you the winner, that is, in Red Bomb Recycling Victory Lane. Attention, Great American Stock Drivers, Halloween 200 cars, please be listening up. We need the first three rows, first three rows to the front stretch. Halloween 200 cars, first three rows to the front stretch. We want to start lining you guys up. Halloween 200 cars, Travis wants you guys at the front stretch right now. So Halloween 200 cars, please be lining up right now. The call has been made for the starting lineup of the Halloween 200 at the front stretch. That is going to happen right now while this scrapper race is going on. We will have a little bit of a gap. That way we can interview the winner of the scrapper race. But right now we need all Halloween 200 cars to the front stretch, please. Thank you. So while they are assembling this scrapper field, we'll take a look at some more lap money for the Halloween 200. Thanks to these fine folks for donating $10 a lap. For anybody that is leading these laps, we'll pick it back up at lap 51, Adrenaline Motorsports. Lap 52, in memory of Keith Lavelle. Laps 53 and 54, Pro Crafters. Lap 55, HP Racing. Pro Crafters back on lap 56. 57, in memory of Jimmy Jones. 58, Pro Crafters. 59, Pro Crafters. Lap 60, Matt Johnson Racing. Pro Crafters, which has helped out a lot with all the laps that were not taken this morning. They filled in all these gaps. So they were able to fill in uh, also for lap 61, 62, 63, 64, and 65. So thanks to Pro Crafters. Lap 66, Jones and Sons Hot Rod Shop. Pro Crafters, 67 and 68 and 69. Matt Johnson racing back with lap 70. Hallmar SPL, lap 71. Pro Crafters, lap 72. MR Heating and Air Conditioning, lap 73. Lap 74, Bombs Racing Supply. Lap 75, Brett Hudson Motorsports. Lap 76, SP Carburetors. Lap 77, Clem Signs and Restyling. SP Carburetors back with lap 78. Lap 79 is in memory of Jimmy Sanders. Matt Johnson Racing, lap 80. Adrenaline Motorsports, lap 81. Lap 82 is in memory of Bill and Eleanor Stubbs. Lap 83 is in memory of Ed and June Johnson. Lap 84, Norris and Ashball Racing. Pro Crafters back with lap 85. Lap 86, Broom Broom Cleaning Service. Lap 87, Leland H. Larson. Lap 88, in memory of Jerry Norris. Lap 89, MR Heating and Air Conditioning. As well as lap 90, MR Heating and Air Conditioning. Jacob Robertson Racing, lap 91. MR Heating and Air Conditioning, laps 92 and 93. Stivers Heating and Air, lap 94. Lap 95, Stivers Heating and Air, as well as lap 96, 97. Caudell Brothers Racing, lap 98. Pro Crafters, lap 99. And Brett Hudson Motorsports, lap 100. There's your first 100 lead lap money tonight. Great American, Great American Stock Drivers, if you're not moving, you need to be now, gentlemen. Great American Stocks, they are wanting you on the race receiver to get to the front stretch, please. Great American Stock Drivers, we need you to start moving. Thank you.
So getting the Great American Stocks lined up for the Halloween 200, we should have all the cars for the first three rows. All the cars for the first three rows should be making their way out to the front of the field. As we want to keep this program moving along for you great fans here today and everyone in attendance. As the beautiful sunshine popped out over Salem Speedway as we get ready for the Red Ball and Recycling Scrapper Division Hawk and quite a bit of cars out here. And yeah, talk about the rules for a scrapper race if you're here for the first time seeing this. Well, most of the rules is you, you can't do much to the car. Knock the glass out and some of the stuff out of there. Put your door plate on maybe. Roll bar if you want. Window net. Get your driving suit, a helmet on, you're ready to go racing. And do not put anything uh, special on the car that's racing. You know, it's supposed to remain stock. Like I said earlier, a lot of these things are right out of the junkyard or basically getting ready to go to the junkyard, which probably a lot of them probably will after this event. This is the Red Ball Recycling re uh, Scrappers, so I think a lot of them will be uh, ready for to be recycled after this event, we'll see how this goes. Quite a few cars being assembled out there, getting lined up for this. Going to be wild and crazy. So like we do, we want to apologize for the names on the scrappers. Because so many scrapper drivers, they kind of changed that the pit office a little bit earlier on. They were changing drivers. So we do apologize if that driver is not really in that car. It's just what list we were being given. So we will have the winner down track side. You will be interviewing the winner down there. We'll at least have that for them. Yeah, a lot of these guys, I mean, that's what the whole deal is. Try to get guys involved in racing, have a little fun, cheap. And so you get like maybe three or four guys kind of go in together on a car. One guy will drive the car one time, and then maybe the next time uh, he lets his buddy drive it, and then they change their mind the last second, kind of stuff like that. Like I say, just kind of having fun, changing the musical chairs around a little bit there in the driver's seat. But uh, it's a good way to get involved in racing. So if you're thinking about maybe getting in racing, this would definitely be the cheapest way in. As I said before, a lot of these cars, uh, they don't last very long. But, uh, you know, they're, uh, they're leading a good life here at the very end. What better way to go out than uh, to race it here at the racetrack so, uh, rather than to just let it sit and rot. So might as well bring it on out there, get a few laps in it, have a little bit of fun. And I believe we've got uh, on the list here, got about 31 cars here, I believe, listed. Early, it looked like we had uh, 20 or so. We had quite a few late additions. So trying to get all them guys in there and where they need to be. Most of these guys don't do much with the paint job, you know, because they, uh, they don't last very long. But I know I see the 39 down there looking pretty good. Probably one of the best-looking scrappers, but... How long will it stay looking that good? That's another question. Of course, this kind of division kind of picking up a little bit in the area. The Sports Drome down there runs a, a little bit. And, uh, of course, Speed Drome, really big up there at Indianapolis. They, uh, they call them grocery getters up there. They have some big Endurals up there. I think the last one they had like 80, 90 cars on that little fifth of a mile oval. You can imagine how that went. Yeah, you know, it's fun, affordable racing, and that's why, you know, they, they kind of start these. You can call them whatever you want, enduro cars, grocery getters, you know, front-wheel drive factory. You, know, you can call them whatever you want to call them, but uh, it's affordable, right? So uh, that's why we want, you know, everyone to get out here that can afford to race one of these, you know, and maybe not be able to afford a street stock or a late model or something of that nature to get out here and have some fun. So that is exactly what we're doing, some cash up on the line and a trophy here. And over 30 cars scheduled right now for this event. Of course, we want to thank our buddy Steve Roby for coming on board and the Derby City Recycling Legends, or Red Ball Recycling Legends. Steve Roby, of course, the guru behind Derby City Recycling. We appreciate them, but Red Ball Recycling. So, you know, Red Ball Recycling, they do a lot for racing around the area. They've been down at Sports Drum Speedway. They come on board here at Salem Speedway. So, you know, 
Derby City Recycling, the Recycle Center seems to be the go of racing, right? You got Derby City Recycling, Steve Roby, then you got Red Bond Recycling too coming on board. Yeah, don't forget about Max also, Max Auto and Scrap Metal Recycling. So we got a lot of recycling going on. I say with these scrapplers, scrappers, there's a lot of recycling going on probably after this event. One thing to keep in mind too of with this with this division too, we have a very lazy caution. So they won't throw a caution for everything. Of course, if someone's uh, really in a bad spot, they will. Or some, uh, if they figure somebody might be in real danger or hurt a little bit. But it is lazy cautions, kind of old school, if you will. So you see them now trying to get the Halloween 200 cars all in order for their introductions here momentarily after the Scrapper event tonight being sponsored by Red Ball and Recycling. So just checking over our list here right now for the Scrappers. About 29 drivers out there on the track right now. They will be going in the kidney bean direction. And that's another thing, Hawk, we see a lot all over kind of the, the fun races, if you will, or kind of this end-of-season turmoil races, the kidney bean course. Now, what they do is either, I believe here, they go down the front stretch. They've done it both times here at Salem Speedway. Either they're going to come out of turn one and two and head, make a hard left-hand turn to the intersection and make a hard right-hand turn to come back out to turn one, or the opposite, they'll go down to the inner track through the back stretch. But either way, it's going to be like a kidney bean, and you got to maneuver around other drivers and the uke tires. Yeah, you got to get around that uke tire out there, wherever that little chicane is, as uh, somebody might call it. Instead of going down the straight oval, you kind of kind of bend it around a little bit so it makes it a nice little twist and uh makes it for some interesting racing as these guys will they'll be probably knocking into that uke tire and get down into the dirt and the grass and everything else So looks like we're just about set for the scrapper event. Looks like all the cars are getting ready and set to go. So this is going to be very interesting. Over 25 cars in this event. Who's going to win it? We're going to find out at the conclusion of this 25-lap mayhem. And yes, it is going to be mayhem. The only event on the small track left to be decided. So if debris comes on the track, so be it. That can come after it goes. Behind the beautiful Eddie Gilstrap Motors Pace Vehicle. We've seen that a lot last night. Hopefully he had enough gas in it last night. Yeah, I think even the, the track equipment and trucks, everything had to have a little gas break as well. So uh, they got to work out for sure. And here they go. They're leading them around here, getting ready to get started here. Well, uh, they'll probably pace them around here and show them exactly the course that they're going to go. So the Eddie Gilstrap Motor Space Vehicle goes down the front straightaway here. <clears throat> we do know for sure that 84, he's won in the scrappers before. Justin Fiedler's number 84 machine. 
You see a lot of the top contenders. That number 70 out there, I can tell you, Phelps, he's been out there on almost every scrapper division in same truck or same van. I think it's a PT Cruiser or something like that. But, uh, you know, he's been out there pretty strong in this event as well. And, uh, you know, sometimes all you need is luck. So they are going down the back stretch. So they come out of turn number two. They make the hard left-hand turn. Then they make the hard right-hand turn through the chicane. They come back out towards turns number three. They'll come out of turn number four, and that will be one lap. So this is the course that these scrapper division cars are going to be taking here in this 25-lap main event. Now, we do know some of these drivers. As I said, they've raced here a lot, and now also at the sports drum. I know the 911 uh, there, I think, is Michael Phillips. He's uh, won one of these events before a couple times, and next to him is Justin Fiedler in 84. Both of those guys have run very well in this division, wherever they've gone. So both of those guys, cars up front are strong runners. But a lot of cars here are going to have a lot of traffic and a lot of mayhem to get through in this event. The uh, NOS Energy Drink 25-lap event for the Red Ball Recycling Scrappers. As the Eddie Gilstrap pace truck continues to lead them around here to make sure everybody knows which way to go. Don't want to forget which way to go right or which way to go left. But as I said, the front row is a couple of veteran scrappers, if you will, so we'll see how they navigate things. Looks like we're going to go green the next time around. So the Eddie Gilstrap pace truck will be exiting here shortly. We ready to turn them loose here. NOS Energy Drink 25 lap event kidney bean course for the Red Ball Recycling Scrapper is going to be a wild one. Now, Hawk Harrod Adams, you're going to be calling most of this event. I'm going to be working on the introduction sheets for the Great American Stocks. So thank you, sir, for taking over the coverage here just a little bit during the Scrapper event to make sure all of our notes are in order for the Halloween 200 event. Get ready to lead us to the green flag. All right. The Eddie Gilstrap pace truck now making the little turn there. Just came. We'll see if he goes straight out off the course. And there he goes off the course. They're going to leave the scrappers on the track now. It's all up to them now to get this a good start. As they'll come around now, turn four, if you want to call it that. Green flag's out. Here we go. Underway here with this NOS Energy Drink 25 lapper. We'll see how many cars can survive lap number one. You see them making their way. Going to be hard to make that turn sometimes. A couple cars getting together big time down in the dirt now. They gather it back up. And they... Take their time going around the kidney bean. Some of them there, everybody getting everybody's way. There's one car turned around now. Couple cars turned around over there. They keep them going. We'll stay green. Whoa, look out. The minivan into the wall down there in the seven. He gathers it back up. He's going. We got a couple cars of grass. We got the 89 going crazy. Everybody's still going, though. Most people are on the off the track than they are on the track right now, looks like. Trying to keep up with everything. We still go with green here. Completing lap number three. Looks like the 911 Phillips is your leader. Going three wide down the front stretch. I don't know how that's going to end up. Looks like they're okay there. The 21 here in the purple car. Really going awful slow here on the front stretch here, but he keeps it going. We got debris all over the place, dust all over the place. But all the cars still moving somehow, some way. 911, steer your leader. As I said, Phillips with uh, Justin Fiedler right behind him. Look out. Your leader getting hung up there with the 5X. He gets back straightened out. Justin Fiedler in the 84 now around the inside of him there. They're battling for the lead side by side. But it's Justin Fiedler now in the 84 taking over the lead from Phillips. 
Coming around, he'll complete lap number five right now, coming across the stripe. That's the 84, Justin Fiedler. He is your leader. Now, the seven is actually in the lead. He is right there. But there's Justin Fiedler right there next to him. So all top three is right there. And they're, they're beating up on the 51A or whatever it is right there. He's trying to get out of the way. Now we got a car stalled right in front of him. Look out. He's in a rough spot right there. He needs to get that thing going. He's going to get rear-ended here in a second. They're going to throw the red here on this, but I don't know. He still might get hit. <laughs> They're still going crazy over there in the chicane. Look out. They're beating it bang over there. Whoa. Om <laughs> One car almost going up on its top. These guys, whoa, look out over there. Uh, red flag means stop, boys. There we go. Better late than never, I guess. Wow, that's all I can say. And uh, I, I see this every day on I-65, so it don't surprise me. I can tell you that much. But, uh, man, I'm glad you're allowing me to get these sheets for the introductions done for the Halloween 200. I'm looking up. I can't concentrate on the sheets here, Hawk. There's so much action going on out here on the speedway. Yeah, that was quite a bit of action right there. And the 32 got hung up in a bad spot, huh? stalled out there. I thought for sure he's going to get rear-ended. But instead of him getting rear-ended, everybody else was over here doing some stuff. The driver of the 32 is looking around like, what's going on back there? I'm just sitting here trying to take a break. Everybody else is still racing around here. I tell you, them guys must have been having a lot of fun. They didn't want to quit racing when they seen that red flag. They was like, well, let's go another lap here. So uh, can you imagine trying to reline this field up? So that's what track officials got to deal with right now. I'm sure they'll do the best they can get this thing lined up. But uh, actually a good battle up front there. You had uh, the Fiedler in 84, 911 Phillips, Campbell in the 7. They had a pretty good little battle there going. And he run into, I think it was the 514 there. He was kind of just caught up in the middle of all of them. He was getting beaten, banged all over the place. He's like, what is going on here? So that's the nature of the beast in this division. Kind of anything goes, if you will. All right, how about this, folks? We're going to get ready to throw the green flag. There you go. We're back underway. In other words, have at it, boys. Whoa, there goes the 514 around again. He's getting knocked around an awful lot. He's going to need some Advil after this race. Forty-six got his hood up. He can't see where he's going. He missed the turn. I think he meant to do that, though. So Justin Fiedler is showing as your leader in the 84, if I can find where he is. Whoa, look out there at the intersection. Woo! Wild ride for the 12. The 39 got him a good one on that one. 84 showing as your leader. He's coming down the stripe right now, completing lap number nine. He's got a nice lead, but uh, I wouldn't say it'd be comfortable. There's a 32 over having trouble again. Now, he's against the wall there. We'll see if we'll let that one go. I believe the track is going to let him sit there this time. So good luck on the 32 over there. How much would have bet somebody will tag him, though? There goes the 13 around. Look out. There goes the other 13, the big white van. He hangs on. He's smoking a lot, though. Now we got the 13. He's right there at the chicane over there. It's not a good spot right there. He's trying to find a, a hole. There he goes. And he makes it there. Good break there by the 12. Your leader, he's down in the dust over there trying to pass the 4B, 87. Excuse me, 84, Justin Fiedler having a good run. 
But he's got to survive all the mayhem here. This is a 25 lap event. Nice energy drink, 25 lapper. The 89 is running second. He's right behind your leader. I believe that's one of the Kellys. Yeah, it is one of the Kellys in 89. Look out over there. Whoa, into the wall, backwards to 20. Took a wild ride against the wall. He's up, way up out of the racing groove, so we'll let him sit there. 89, now your leader. As Fiedler not looking so good here, turned around backwards, smoking and everything else. He cannot be too happy there. So 89 Kelly, possibly Rusty Kelly in that thing. Whoa, look out, head on collision right there at the chicane between the 13, the seven, and the tractor tire. Whoa, look out. Justin Fiedler dive bombing into the white 09, I believe it was. So I'm guessing the 09 was maybe the one that spun the 84, I'm just guessing. So still got a couple cars there at the intersection area. Just makes, uh, they're kind of replacing the tractor tire, I guess, guess you could say. So 89 being scored as your leader. I believe that's Rusty Kelly. Second is 91, which is probably the 911. He's going through the intersection part right now. So pretty good lead for the 89. Getting around pretty good there in that little 89. See if he can survive the rest of the way. He's got eight laps to go. Got a lot of cars getting together there. The chicane, they make it through again. There's the 13. He's a... Uh, limping off the track surface over on the back stretch. Whoa, a couple cars here in the front stretch getting together. Up into the wall now. That's a pretty good obstacle right there right now. You gotta watch out, you gotta stay to the inside, boys. As they're gonna try to get moving, the one's trying to back out. We stay in green right now. Got 056 turned around on the intersection area. He gets out of the way safely. Nineteen laps complete now for the eighty-nine. As he patiently gets through some lap traffic right there. Whoa, look out the intersection, look out. And a sixty-nine there, he's kind of making a new course. I don't I don't remember that turn, but Oh, we got more trouble at the intersection. They keep going. The seven that was used as the marker tire, he's still there. Nine eleven now, your new leader. The eighty nine is right there with him. So they're battling first and second. There they go. Coming around turns three and four of the oval right there. 9-11 has snuck up on the 89 and took the lead. They cross the stripe, 22 laps down, three to go. But the 89 is right there with him. Kelly Phillips in the 9-1-1. So we got a good battle going. And look at the traffic in front of them. Oh, this is going to get really crazy here these last two laps. No doubt about this. This is going to get interesting. We're going to have some tore up cars here on this. I'm just going to make a prediction. Go out on the limb. These guys are going to battle tooth and nail, and they're going to have to work their way through some lap traffic. Here we go. Who's it going to be? The 911 so far with the advantage. Going to the outside of all the traffic. 
coming around this time down the front stretch white flag out here we go one lap to go what's the 89 gonna do he's gonna go the inside way down on the inside look at there He's got the advantage now. Is he going to try to survive the chicane? Whoa, look out. Whoa, on his side. Short track, and what are we going to do here? Are we going to finish out this lap? If so, it's going to be the 89. Checker flag waves, and there he is, Kelly in the 89. Well then, race fans, how about that event? Oh my gosh. I was here trying to get um, Halloween 200 notes in order, and uh, I pretty much had to watch this, what was going on. Very cool indeed, as Hawk Harrod Adams going to go down to victory lane. And, of course, that driver who kind of went into no man's land, they were battling for the number one spot, and, of course, now up on his side, so they had nowhere to go. So race fans, coming up next will be the introductions for the 35th running of the Halloween 200 presented by Kentucky Anna Ford dealers here at Salem Speedway once Victory Lane concludes down on the Victory Circle. So the number 89 of Kelly, he's going to go to Victory Lane. We caught it at the end of that one. There is going to be some carnage, and that is what it's all about. So the 70 of Phelps gets that car back on all fours, and he raced that uh, vehicle pretty much every scramper event in the 2023 season. But we'll get the number 89 of Kelly in victory lane. Hawk Carroll Adams will have the word with your winner, and we'll go on and give it to Hawk Carroll Adams down there. Hawk, back to you down there, buddy. All right, I'm down here on the track. We'll see if we can get the winner of the scrapper event. I think he's coming over here now. Yeah. All right, the winner of the scrapper event in the 89 is Tony Kelly. Tony, I mean, uh, I mean, what can you say? The crowd was going wild. There was all kinds of stuff going on. You had the lead there. It looked like you were comfortable. All of a sudden, the 911 come up there, got you. Y'all coming into that last lap traffic, it just got wild and crazy. How'd you survive that? I, I used the five Ds of dodgeball on that last lap. <laughs> hey, you, whatever it took, I tell you what, I don't see how you made it there, but you had to make the short track through there, and he made it work there. I mean, uh, what else could you have done right there, right? I don't know what else I could have done. Um, I, I kind of got complacent about halfway through the race. I probably should have just kept hammering down. <laughs> well, you kind of caught me by surprise. Like I said, you had a comfortable lead. And I thought, okay, he's got this. I was watching all the other carnage going on. All of a sudden, the 911 passes you. So, I mean, I guess you were surprised too. But, I mean, you had a lot of close calls. A lot of things were going on. When you see the video, you won't believe what was going on out there. But, yeah, uh, I know you're telling your dad is Rusty Kelly. Uh, he's a legend in this area. All the Kellys are. So who you want to thank, uh, name-wise, any sponsors you want to thank to get you out here, Victory Lane here today? Uh, I just want to thank all the family that come out. We've been camping all weekend. It's been pretty awesome. Um, Skyline Chili did a lot to, to get the Crown Vic here yesterday. Um, we had a great run last night. Uh, and I want to compliment the scoreboard, to be honest. That's probably why I got complacent. Like I, I, I run back in 2009 at Whitesville, and you had no idea what lap you were on ever. So um, the, the scoreboard's awesome. All right, there you have it. Winner of the Scrapper Division, Tony Kelly in the 89. All right, Will Greenwell, back up to you, man, as we are getting things ready for the main event.
and what we want. All the crews down there on the track, if you could go to the inside retaining wall, we just want the driver standing by his driver door as we get ready for introductions is what they are wanting. So that is going to be the call. So if all you crews can get down to the inside, that way we can get the, the driver by the driver door before we start the introductions for the 35th annual Halloween 200 presented by Kentucky and four dealers. And we'll let Victory Lane wrap up down there with the Scrapper Division car, and then we will start introductions here today. <clears throat> we appreciate all of you great fans for being with us here during this Halloween 200 weekend, presented by Kentucky and Ford Dealers, and of course, Red Ball Recycling and NOS Energy Drink here at Salem Speedway. And now, race fans, it is time for the starting lineup for the 35th running of the Halloween 200, presented by Red Bar and Recycling and NOS Energy Drink. Starting 29th, the CB Fabricating Nix Auto from Anderson, Indiana, the 44P of Dawson Phillips. Rolling off 28th, the Hopkins Towing Entry from Newcastle, Indiana, the number 95 of Tyler Hopkins. Rolling off 27, the LRC Roofing and Remodeling, AGL Properties, Real Deal Pressure Washing, Pampamara, Indiana, the Flying Turtle, Justin Purtle. Rolling off 26, the ASB LLL LLC Machine from Floyd Knobs, Indiana, the number 24 of Scott Wisman. Rolling off 25th, the Diesel Boys LLC Wilkerson Enterprises from NAB, Indiana, Kevin Wilkerson. Starting 24th, the Kelly Trucking D&J Auto Parts Steve Tong Home Improvement from Owensboro, Kentucky, the number 25 of Tyler Nicely. Starting 23rd, the CJS Trailer Repair, number 08 of Bruce Birch. Rolling off 22nd, the PNP Express All-Star Truck Repair, Huber Pulse g, g Truck Repair from Greenville, Indiana, the number 11 of Doug Gettelfinger. Rolling off 21st, the Hilltop Drive-In, Tony Stewart Drywall, Van Hoy Oil Entry, the number 21 from Knightstown, Indiana, the number 21 of Kobe Lane. Rolling off 20th tonight, the Fuel Vin Entry from Centralia, Illinois, the number 51 of Joe Cooksey. Starting 19th. The Stout Racing Engines, Bubba Fab A1 Transmission, Amerigo Machinery, SP Carburetors, Advantage Painting, and Sun, Cropper, Kentucky, from Shepherdsville, Kentucky, starting 19th, Perry Whitsett. Rolling off 18th, the Pain Management Consultants, Lambert Paint and Body, from Louisville, Kentucky, the number 26 of Jeff Berg. Rolling off 17th on the grid, the Stanley Shoe Pigs, CP Racing Engines, Butcher Con Creek, NMC Companies from Knightstown, Indiana, the number 33 of Calvin Parham. 
16th starter, the Sheridan Mechanical KES Electric property scope entry from Louisville, Kentucky, the 06 of John McLaren. Starting 15th tonight, the Shane Wilson Lawn Care MR Heating and Air Locker Room Pub Jillian Construction number 32 from Borden, Indiana, Dave Baines. Rolling off 14th tonight, the H&R AgriPower Bush Hog Fisher's Towing Auto Truck and Trailer Repair, your 2023 Great American Stock Champion from Philpott, Kentucky, the number 16 of Heath Helton. 13th starter, the Lefevers Curbing Advantage Painting Beacon Credit Union, Slap Jacks, Diesel Boys LLC from Louisville, Kentucky, the number 38 of Alex Ware. Rolling off 12th on the grid, the Paradise Lawn and Landscaping to Blondie Salon, Mastin and Kane Warehousing. He is your 2023 CRA Street Stock Champion. The number 20 from Greenfield, Indiana, Dalton Connor. Starting 11th tonight, the DHP Racing Tornado Safe Room.com, Jim Johnson Automotive, Quality Automotive from Bowling Green, Kentucky. The 05 of Blaine Aiken. Now your top 10 in the Halloween 200. Rolling off 10th, the Hall Brothers Truck Leasing, United Mechanical, Full Throttle Adrenaline Park, Chevrolet from Louisville, Kentucky, the number 44 of Chuck Barnes, Jr. Starting 9th, the Stivers Heating and Air, Kingsboro Concrete, NTC Traffic Control from Mount Washington, Kentucky, the number 48 of Craig Luther. Rolling off 8th on the grid, the MR Heating and Air, Bombs Racing Supply, Shepherdsville, Kentucky native, the number 74 of Austin Bomb. Starting 7th, the Hudson Machine Shop Fishers Towing, double zero. He hails from Owensboro, Kentucky, the double zero of Brett Hudson. Rolling off 6th, the Rogers Race Car Parks, John McLaren Motorsport, Kentucky Clutch and Performance, Tim's Body Shop. He is the number 86 from Louisville, Kentucky. It is Sean Smith. Top 5, the Wheeler's Towing and Recovery Auction Hub, number 85. He hails from Louisville, Kentucky, Allen Williams, Jr. Starting 4th. The Barnes Auto Service, United Mechanical Incorporated, soon to be a member of the Kentucky Motorsports Hall of Fame, the number five from Louisville, Kentucky, Chuck Barnes Sr. Starting third, the Brad's Brass Flamingo, Shot Electric Diesel Boys LLC, Hammer Down Hauling, Bird's Eye Indiana Native, they call him the Bird's Eye Bullet, the number 99 of Brian Bear. Starting second, the Seafree Lawn Care and Excavating, Solar Control, Window Tinting, St. Anthony Tire and Automotive from St. Anthony, Indiana, the number 23 of Trent Bear. And your pole center, finishing second in the 2023 Great American Stock Points, the Red Ball Recycling, Green Tree Real Estate, Richie's Auto Body, Po' Boys Barbecue, number 19, the number 19 of Connor Popwell. And race fans, let's give all 29 starters a round of applause in the 35th annual Halloween 200 presented by Kentuckiana Four Dealers, Red Ball Recycling, and NOS Energy Drink. Now we need all crews off the racing surface. We'll have one crew member buckle that driver in. That way we can get underway with today's event here at Salem Speedway. The wall crews now exiting the track. You only know what that means. The, these drivers buckling up for 200 laps around Salem Speedway. 33-degree banking. Track opened in 1947 here at Salem Speedway. And, Hawk, what do you think is going through the minds of these drivers as they buckle those seat belts and those helmets? Come on, my friend. Yeah, that's very intense right now. It's time to really get focused, settled in. they got a long race ahead of them. This is their biggest race of the year. A lot of these drivers look forward to this race every year. They circle it. This is the one they want to win. This is the one they want to do good in. Got a big crowd, as every year for this event. Very prestigious event. A lot of money on the line. 
great trophy as well from that Crosley jukebox. And uh, just a lot of great things involved with this race. This is a race that is uh, well known around the region. You know, we have a lot of people come from around pretty good little ways to visit this track on this day. So it is a big race for all these guys. So we got everybody lined up, try to get everybody buckled in, ready to go. All the safety equipment going. Last minute advice from their crew. Got their spotters all ready to go upstairs. Sun is shining, so things are looking good right now. To finalize this Halloween 200 weekend. It's been a great weekend. Great racing we've seen from every division, all the races. And here it is. We finally are here to the final event, the Halloween 200. Just waiting till everyone gets buckled in before we fire the engines here today. Of course, Heath Helton picking up the championship in 2023 in the Diesel Boys Great American Stocks. Beautiful afternoon, sun shining here at Salem Speedway. A lot different than yesterday. A lot of wind yesterday during that event. But it all comes down to this. This is what we've been shooting for all weekend. All started in practice on Friday. Now we're here on Sunday afternoon getting ready for 200 laps for the Halloween 200 cars here today at Salem Speedway. So we take just a minute here to make sure everything's good and ready to go here before we fire them up. We're going to look at these, this lap money board again. Every lap, if you lead it, $10 a lap. A lot of great sponsors. We pick it back up. Lap 101. One of my buddy photographers, Doug Durham, sponsoring 101. Wild Will Throwdown Podcast. Wild Will and myself, Hawk Harold Adams, sponsoring 102, 103, and 104. Sponsoring 105, Barnes Auto Service. The Locker Room Pub, sponsoring 106, 107, 108, 109, and 110. 111, the Halloween Boys Racing. 112, Mike's Mufflers and Brakes. 113, Diesel Boys. 114, Diesel Boys. 115, Diesel Boys. Lap 116, Sweet 16, Helton Racing. 117, All-Star Truck Repair. 118, one, Mike's Mufflers and Brakes. 119, Mike's Mufflers and Brakes. And sponsoring laps 120, 121, 122, 123, and 124. Myself, Hawk, Harold Adams, and Race 8. That takes us through laps 124. We'll pick it back up during one of the cautions. If we get a caution here in this Halloween 200, sponsored by Kentucky and Ford Dealers. Pick it back up, 125, Brett Hudson Motorsports. 126, All-Star Truck Repair. 127, Lefebvre's Curbing. 128, Lefebvre's Curbing. 129, Lefebvre's Curbing. And 130, Lefebvre's Curbing. Picking up 131 through 136, our buddies at Pro Crafters. 137, West Welding. 138, Colin Grissom Racing. 139, West Welding. 140, Matt Johnson Racing. 141, Clem Signs and Restyling. 142, All-Star Truck Repair. 143, All-Star Truck Repair. 144, All-Star Truck Repair. 145, in memory of Rocky Glover. 146, in memory of Frank Glover. 147, Stivers Heating and Air. 148 Stivers Heating and Air, 149 Stivers Heating and Air, and 150 Brent Hudson Motorsports.
track officials down there making sure everything is getting ready to be good to go before we have fire these engines. Making sure all the crew is off the track and those drivers are ready to go. GB down there checking to make sure all the drivers are buckled in, of course, and getting ready for this 200-lap main event here today with the 35th Annual Halloween 200 presented by Kentucky Anna Four Dealers here at Salem Speedway. Grout crowd on hand. We're glad each and every one of you joined us here this afternoon for the main event of the 2023 season. And race fans, we have been got the word to count them down. I'm going to need your help to fire this horsepowered engines up of all 29 cars. Let's count them down. Five, four, three, two, one. Start your engines. And here we go. Hawk Harold Adams, the engines come to life, and we're getting ready for the Halloween 200. And race fans, this time by will be the wave lap. These drivers want to see you out of your seats today. And what a beautiful sight. Three wide here in the Great American Stock Cars. Race fans, these are the baddest street stocks in the nation. They are going 200 laps in the Halloween 200.
Now, Hawker at Adams, here we go, looking at the storylines. Coming into tonight, of course, your 2023 champion, Heath Hilton there in the 16th. He's been strong all year long in that number 16. But then you also look at Alex Ware. Has not had the luck he wanted this year. Came all so close to picking up his first ever Great American Stock win in that number 38 machine. You look at the other field. Brian Bear already won win at Winchester Speedway. The CRA 2023 champion, Don Connors, number 20 car out there. A lot of heavy hitters. You can't count out the Barnes as well. Chuck Barnes Sr. and Chuck Barnes. You have Brett Hudson. You have a lot of big names in this event, and it's going to take a lot of power to get to that lap number 200. Now, let's talk about some other storylines. The Dirt Car Modified standout, Tyler Nicely, back there in the number 25 machine. It'll be interesting to see how he fares in the Halloween 200 today. Many storylines coming into this race. All right, the car's coming around now, getting things warmed up here, getting ready, getting really close here. These guys are feeling it right now. They're feeling the intensity. They're getting that focus, getting their challenges ready to go. Strategies in their mind. Spotters all ready to go. Three wide start, always a tricky thing here. The desired line is at high sides. You got these some of these guys all the way down on the inside. That front row, Connor Popperwell in that 19, been strong all year, has really, really matured this season. So he's looking to win the big one here today. You got both Bears up there with him on the front there. Brent Bear in the 99, Trent Bear in the 23. That is your front row. Sounds like we got a transponder issue on the 33 now. They're probably going to have to change that out. I think the transponder 33 has gone dead, not picking up. So I believe they're going to have to take a moment to swap that out real quick in that 33 ride. So these guys here, this is all part of the challenge, I guess. These guys are all geared up, ready to go. Now they're going to have to kind of back it down here for a little bit. Already a mental situation going on with these guys. They've got to, got to reel it in here for a moment. We see this lot with transponders no matter what, but uh, what the transponder does, it's an electrical device that relates to the computer up here in the scoring tower. So we're going to go red flag on the back stretch. That way we could get the transponder switched down on Parham's number 33, I believe. And looks like already one car coming back out on the track, or actually going down PNC Pit Road. That was Dawson Phillips number 44P machine. Has already problems on that number 44P. Now we saw earlier he didn't even get a practice time hardly because they were trying to jump start that number 44P. So that's a big story also. So having some bad luck. So looks like the safety crew and officials here at Salem Speedway getting that number 33's transponder switched out before the start of this 200-lap main event here this afternoon here at Salem Speedway. Yeah, he's talking about Dalton Phillips in the 44. Yeah, they could not get that thing fired at all. Could not get qualifying time in. Figured he might be a scratch, but he able to make the field. But now, as you said, going to the pit area with problems again, so... A lot of issues going on with that 44. Of course, with this transponder issue, it does give him time to, to get that thing fixed. We'll see if he can get back out there, pick up on the tail, and not lose any laps. Yeah, you could see they're under the hood of that number 44P machine of Phillips, and that is not a good sign with the hood already up. And those crews back there not moving with any uh, kind of speed, if you will, and that's not a good sign for the 44P of Phillips. Tough break for that driver coming into tonight's Halloween 200 event. So it looks like they're still trying to get the transponder switched down on the number 33 of Parham's machine. Like we talked about, let's talk about it. We, we've seen Tyler Nicely win every dirt car modified. It was a big story in the dirt world, actually, coming into tonight. Tyler Nicely in that 25 known all over the country as a dirt car modified driver from Owensboro, Kentucky. You know, we've seen him race many things. He said he's always wanted to race in the Great American Stocks Halloween 200, and he's here today, beautiful 25. Same wrap he has on his dirt car modified coming out here tonight. So, looks like the 33's car is fixed up, ready to go. 
And now they're going to tell the Eddie Gilstrap Motor Space Vehicle to row with the field behind them. Now, front row, Connor Popowell, Trent Bear, and Brian Bear on that front row. Chuck Barnes, Alan Williams Jr., and Sean Smith inside our outside row number two. And the formation, three wide start for the Halloween 200. All right, looks like we're going to try to maybe turn them loose the next time around here already. We'll see how the field lines up, see if we can get a start here. We're going to look to go green. So right away, these guys got to pump it right back up. And we see the 44, Don Phillips, indeed back out onto the track. So he has picked up back up on the tail of the field. So the Eddie Gilstrap pace truck going down the back stretch. We'll keep an eye on him, see if we're ready to send him off and Check. go green here. So Eddie Gilstrap Motors pace vehicle picks up speed and you only know what that means. He'll make the hard left-hand turn to PNC Pit Road this time. Race fans, it is time for the 35th running of the Halloween 200 as we get ready to go green off turn four and we are underway. Brian Bear already jumping out to that good lead as he exits turns number two, going down the back straightaway. Here comes Sean Smith as well. Sean Smith down the back straightaway, all over the back bumper of Brian Bear. A lot of contact over in turns three and four. They hang on. Oh, Chuck Barnes Sr. almost losing it. Chuck Barnes Sr. almost going for a Ryan early in this one, trying to keep that car as well as he can. As Brian Bear, Sean Smith, Connor Popowell, here comes Dalton Connor as number 44 going to go back down PNC Pit Road. Two laps completed now. Brian Bear leading away. Sean Smith second, Connor Will third. Those three pull away a little bit. And there's Dalton Connor moving up into fourth. Dalton Connor now, like you said, goes to fourth. He is going to be a strong one here today. Here comes Dave Baines, number 32. He's on the inside of Craig Luther's number 48. He'll take over the number five spot. Once again, Brian Bear comes down to the stripe. Lap number three in the books. First, second, and third, looking strong. Now, Dalton Connor into 20. We'll see if he's got any oh. speed right now. We got a car up in the wall, 06, John McLaren, a little bit in turns one and two. He keeps it going. We'll see if we stay green. John McLaren and Tyler nicely slowing down in the number 25. Tough break. He'll come down PNC Pit Road. And now John McLaren up in smoke. Don't know if that's a tire rub or not. He goes down in turns number one. We'll have to see what happens to the number 06, possibly a tire rub. Yeah, probably a result of scraping that wall over in turns one and two. He is way off the pace. Tyler Nicely going to pull the number 25 into PNC Pit Road. And as well as John McLaren, tough break for the 06. Is he got in the turn one and two wall coming out of the exit? Don't know if it was a tire rub or not, but that's what we're seeing right now. Also, we're going to look on the board, top five, running fifth. There he is, number 32, David Baines. We said look out for him, and he is on the board. Yes, indeed. You can see John McLaren's group going to work on that number six right now, checking that car over. Nevertheless, he's going to be laps down here before this one is said and done. Top three cars breaking away from Don Connor. That is Brian Bear, Sean Smith, and Connor Popowell. Seven laps in the books. Top three really setting a blistering pace right now. Brian Bear. Sean Smith and Connor Popowell, one, two, and three. Scott Wisman slowing down off the pace, going down the front straightaway as well. So something going on ill-mannered for the number 24 of Scott Wisman. So you hate to see that. But right now, Brian Bear, he has gotten some speed, as well as Sean Smith. Good run by him. We haven't talked about him much today. And, of course, you always knew that Connor Popowell is going to be up in the mix. Dalton Connor, as now we see Scott Wisman going to slow down. He'll come down PNC Pit Road next time by. We have a few cars already having some issues here early on. But the heavy hitters up front looking good. Sean Smith taking a peek to the inside of Brian Bear out of two. Backs out of it now. Like we saw last night, that inside group still not going to work for the Great American Stock Halloween 200 cars. 
Sean Smith tried to peek to the inside left for a quarter panel. Could not get it outside turn two going down the back straightaway. As Scott Wisman's number 24 going to go down PNC Pit Road right now. So out of turn number two, still Brian Bear, Sean Smith, and Connor Popwell. Dalton Connor and Dave Baines rounds out your top five. Your leader's coming around now to complete lap number 11. The top five really looking good right now, setting themselves apart from the rest of the field for the time being. Long way to go. Absolutely. This is a 200 laps around Salem Speedway. As you see it right there on Dirt 2 Media's broadcast, Brian Bear in that number 99 machine leading the way, and it is one, two, three, about the same distance from first to second as it is from second to third to Connor Popowell. So that is your top three cars exiting turns number two, going down the back straightaway right now. You see your leaders now coming by around here to complete lap number 13. There you see the 06, John McLaren, back out there on the track. They are coming up around him. Your leaders really settling in right now, really running good up there, your top five. A little bit loose out of the turns for the Bruce Birch number eight car as he was a little bit loose exiting turns number four. We have to keep a close eye on that. As everyone just trying to stay up, they don't want to go a lap down at all. That is not the key here, but a big gaggle of cars down in turns number three and four. Alex Ware trying to hold on to that position all over the back bumper. That is Parham's number 33 machine. Perry Witsit back there as well. So you look at the SX side-by-side -side box here with Dirt 2 Media. And you can see it at home if you're watching the broadcast. A great double box going on by the side-by-side. -side. As John McLaren's going to pull that number six down the PNC pit road again to the attention of his crew. You talk about that gaggle of cars back there. It's like 10th on back. Those guys kind of running right there together. I think you yeah, got a lot of good cars back there. I think that right now they're just kind of riding right now, saving their tires a little bit. Not worrying about things too much. They don't want to go a lap down. They're already about a half lap behind your leaders right now. Yeah, no doubt. And, and this is the thing about the Halloween 200 you don't want to do. You don't want to go a lap down early right now. But now you have a big gaggle of cars over here towards the back. I mean, you have a whole hornet's nest, all led by the 44 Chuck Barnes Jr. You have Heath Helton out there. you got Blaine Aiken, Austin Baum, Allen Williams Jr., Alex Ware, and the rest of the gang back there. So we got two separate races going on. But it's the class of the field right now. The top five entering turns three and four. As your leaders come down to stripe, completing lap number 18, Brian Bear, Sean Smith, Connor Popwell. Now you got Dalton. Connor has kind of caught up with those three, so we're making a four-car train up front. Yeah, and we always have to talk about the tire game during the Halloween 200. When do you make that stop? When do you make that change? When do you put fuel in? When are those tires going to go away? We see a lot of guys saving, but like you alluded to, already a half a lap from first all the way back to Chuck Barnes at Junior's 44. So this is going to be very interesting, but good run by Sean Smith right now all over the back bumper of Brian Bear, the bird's eye bullet. He is right there on the bumper coming out of four, completing lap number 20 as they're getting ready to put a few cars down a lap here. So we'll keep our eye on how the situation is as they get around this lap traffic. Brian Bear loves staying out front. He is gaining that lap money and the bonus money left and right right now. That is the key and name of the game. But now we've got slower traffic in front of your leaders, Brian Bear. You have Doug Gettlefingers, number 11, right in front of Brian Bear. They come up on that lap traffic now. We'll see how they navigate through. See if there's any issues there. Gettlefinger to the inside leads the, lets the faster cars around on the outside to complete lap 22. 22 laps now complete. Brian Bear, Sean Smith, and Connor Popowell looking all over the racing surface, clean and green so far here at Salem Speedway in the 35th edition of the Halloween 200 presented by NOS Energy Drink, Red Bond Recycling, with the title sponsor, Kentucky and Ford dealers, and all over the back bumper of Brian Bear, Sean Smith trying to go to the inside. They got the lap car there, 95. I think it's Hopkins right there on the outside. Brayer had to get down on the inside. Sean Smith now got a little out of shape right there. 
Now here comes Connor Popowell. He tried to get to the back end of Sean Smith right now. Brian Bear, of course, trying to avoid slower traffic of Tyler Hopkins, number 95. And that allowed Brian Bear just to pull a little more in front of Sean Smith. So now the battle on the track is for the number two spot. Connor Popowell trying to get through the number 86. Connor Popowell down on the inside of Sean Smith down the back stretch, trying to get that second spot. Trying to indeed, not many people can make it work on the inside line. This is going to allow Dalton Connor's number 20 car to try to close in your leaders. Then number 19 of Connor Popowell. Lap number 25 in the books here at Salem Speedway. Looking on around from there, all over the track. Good racing going on here early on in the going. But this is what you got to watch for. Your leaders coming around to complete lap number 26, coming up on some more slower traffic. Kevin Wilkerson there in the 61 gets down low, allows traffic by. Jeff Berg also on the 26 there coming up on him. Top three all knows to tell right now. Here comes one car getting loose coming out of turn at number four. That is the number 61 of Kevin Wilkerson. But right now, seventh place, Trent Bear, Chuck Barnes Sr., Brett Hudson, and Chuck Barnes Jr. in that 10th spot right now as we run. So that is your top 10. Same three cars and top five battling it out over in three and four. No complete. Lap number 28 this time around. Staying green the whole way so far. Your top five cars really looking strong at this point have set themselves away from the rest of the field. Yes, indeed. Still green flag racing. And a little bit of smoke now as we have a yellow flag on the speedway for the number 44P of Dawson Phillips. He was slowing. And, oh, Kevin Wilkerson. I don't know what happened there as left front damage on the number 40 or 61 here. But the caution was for the 44P of Dawson Phillips, who now the Wilcox Tow and M Recovery Record Service is at the attention of him. Now, I don't know if you saw it or not, Hawk, but I was looking at John McLaren, maybe another tire rub, but a little bit of smoke out of the number six, and then the caution flag for the number 44P. So looking at the rundown, Brian Bear still your leader, Sean Smith second, Connor Popowell goes third, Dot Connor fourth, Dave Baines rounds out the top five. Craig Luther, 6th, Trent Bear, 7th, Chuck Barnes Sr., 8th, Brett Hudson, ninth, Chuck Barnes Jr. in the 10th spot. Heath Helton, 11th, Blaine Aiken, 12th, Austin Baum, 13th, Alan Williams Jr., 14th, Alex Ware, 15th, Calvin Perron in the 16th, Kobe Lane, 17th, Perry Witts at 18th, Joe Cooksey, 19th, and rounding out your top 20, Justin Pirtle. Now, we're going to get a first look at the choose now. This is something a lot of different tracks are doing. Right there you see the choose roll once we get the double up and choose. And now Heath Helton now coming to PNC Pit Road now. So here comes Heath Helton into Pit Road. Don't know exactly what's going on there with that number 16 machine. Not a good sign there for the 16. He is one of the heavy hitters. You don't want to go down Pit Road this early. 30 laps on the board. This is something that back of the pack cars wanted to see. They were just riding out, waiting for this caution. It took a little while, but they finally got it. So they're going to bunch the field up. They'll be right back up there with the leaders. You know, you saw Sean Smith try to go to the inside of Brian Bear there, and Tyler Hopkins got all mixed up. But here we go. Now pit road is open, and here comes a lot of those cars down to PNC pit road. And those of you at Dirt 2 Media, you can see it right there on the broadcast. Chuck Barnes Jr. goes to work. He's going to put... Different tires, I believe, change those tires. They're going to get those tires off that car, make sure everything's good to go. They may not change the tires yet. As you saw, they were seeing how much wear is on those tires. So there goes Chuck Barnes Jr. out as Chuck Barnes Sr. now comes into the pit road. So now we're getting a first look. We've completed 30 green flag laps here in the Halloween 200. Alex Ware off and away from his pit stall. Dave Baines also went down. Craig Luther. The top three did not pit, of course. So very interesting developments here. Top three did not pit or choose to pit here early on. Yeah, a lot of these drivers decided to pit early here like here. A lot of them are doing a quick, quick pit job, pit stop, making quick adjustments, and just sending them right back out. So we'll see what happens here after 
some of these cars in the back of the field have pitted. But as you said, the top three stayed out. So we'll keep an eye on that as we come across here to complete lap 32. Now you see Kevin Wilkerson's Diesel Boys, number 61 entry. Also Joe Cooksey, the Centralia, Illinois driver, the number 51 machine. He is putting fuel in as the crew is putting fuel in that 51. He's going to pull away on PNC Pit Road as well. Justin Pirtle going to pull back out the number 77 as well. So Pit Road seeing some action early here. Already 32 laps complete. Caution laps do count in the Halloween 200 event. The race started out pretty good. Pretty good clean, uh, green, green, green flag racing to begin that race, which is something you don't always see on a three-wide start. But these guys did a good job. Got a good start. They, everybody settled in. They kind of run their race, and now they had this caution, so everybody's doing their strategies. Either pit or don't pit right now. Keep it going, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, possibly a little bit of debris was on the track, and a lot of these drivers wanted to elect to go to pit road to check and see if they ran over anything. So that is uh, kind of the question. If a lot of these drivers electing, you saw Chuck Barnes Jr.'s crew down there checking those tires out on that number 44. As Bruce Birch going to pull that 08 inside, and that's not a good sign as well. Taking the hood off of that 08 machine, and that crew's going to look inside. Here comes Heath Helton back to pit road, as well as Tyler Hopkins, number 95. Makes you kind of wonder what's going on with that 16 machine. It's back in pit road again. So race control, trying to get everything lined up and set. Looking at our notes as well on the race monitor scoring app. Making sure everyone is good to go. Believe they're going to go over and talk to the 06 crew. 12 laps. Trying to figure out who's a lap down, who's not on the scoring here. So Eddie Gilstrap Motor Space Vehicle picks up the teams here. As the number 99, Brian Bear, he looked tough at Winchester. We knew he was going to be tough this weekend. 86, Sean Smith doing a great job as well. Of course, there's the guy who finished second in the points this year, Connor Popowell's number 19 machine. Already two wins to his credit this year in 2023. Of course, a long way. We talk about attrition, attrition big time in this event. 200 laps inside that cockpit, a long way around Salem Speedway. All right, another break in the action here. We'll take a look at some more lap lead money here. Caldwell Brothers Racing doing 151, 152, 153, 154. Caldwell Brothers Racing also doing 155, 156, 157, 158, and 159. Brett Hudson Motorsports doing 160. Pro Crafters picking up all the extra spots here today, helping us out with laps 161 through 168. So you saw GB down there picking up some debris down close to the inside retaining wall down there on the racing surface. Want to make sure we get all of that out of the way for these drivers. Do not hit that and run over that. So lap 35, caution laps do count here in the Halloween 200.
So once we get the call, the cues will come into play, and it's going to come into play a lot today because this is something that these faster cars towards the back could advance in positioning. Everyone knows the tie side here at Salem Speedway is the preferred groove, and once they call for the cone cues, I mean, I mean, for an example, last night we saw guys kind of advance 10 to 15 positions on a cone shoes. So uh, that'll be interesting to see as Craig Luther in the 48, the Mount Washington, Kentucky native, is going to pull to his crew. And again, another car with the hood up on that machine. So they're looking at Craig Luther cleaning off the front of that car. A lot of overheating issues. That's something they are worried about as well today. Tough break for him. He's actually being scored as six when that caution came out. Now, they did the choose cone, Will. And it looks like we've got Sean Smith down on the inside of row one now. Connor Popperwell stays to the high side. Blaine Aiken in the 05 will be in row two on the inside. Rip, uh, Trent Barron in 23 on the outside of row three. And there's David Baines on the inside of row three in the 32. So, yeah, there you go. So, Sean Smith elected to choose the inside. That's going to put him on the inside of Brian Bear now. So, that is what could happen here. Now, you see the 0-5 of Blaine Aiken up there as well. Dave Bain, Trent Bear on the outside of row number three. Next time by, going to get the one-to-go signal here at the line for the restart. The first restart of the afternoon. One to go here. We'll see what happens on this restart. Now we got some other guys we haven't talked about. We was talking about that top five being solid up front there early on. But now, as you said, the 05 Blaine Aiken up into the mix now. You see uh, Austin Baum in that 74. He's right up there as well. And there's Chuck Barnes Jr. He always likes to hold back a little bit, pace himself. So we keep an eye on the 44. First time we've really mentioned him. Now the Eddie Gilstrap Motors Pace Vehicle going to pick up speed here momentarily, and he does so right there. That can only mean one thing. Getting ready for the first restart of the afternoon in the 35th running of the Halloween 200. It is Brian Bear in the lead. Here's Sean Smith to the inside. Was that a good decision? We're going to find out for the restart here in the Halloween 200. And we are back underway. Good start. From the 99, Rip Bear, he takes the lead. Sean Smith in the 86 will tuck in behind him. Connor Popperwell third. Here comes the number 99, Brian Bear. He is on control again, kind of what we saw before the caution flag. A little bit, possibly a tire rub on Alex Ware. Don't know exactly what's happening there. A little bit of smoke on the number eight, 38 is what I saw coming out of turn number four. So don't know exactly if it is. More engine trouble for the 44P of Dawson Phillips. Forty laps complete now on the board. Your top three now trying to pull away again. The 99, the 86, and the 19 as they go into turns three and four. Three and four, seeing a lot of action right now. You have to go back now all single file. Don Connor gets a little bit loose back there. He gathers that car back up as they come down. More smoke from John McLaren's number six car. They're going to have to keep an eye on that as the day progresses. Now Brett Hudson comes to the inside of Austin Baum down the front straight or back straight away. First time we mentioned the double zero's name. It's time for him to move up a little bit. He gains a position over that 74 car. He takes over the number nine spot. That is Brett Hudson's double zero machine from Owensboro, Kentucky. Here comes Dave Baines to the inside of Trent Bear. He'll try to overtake the number four spot, and Dave Baines has it. We talked about Dave Baines in a 32. He wants this race today. A good, strong move there. Moves himself up into the fourth spot. Look out, the momentum's built all season long for David Baines, number 32 machine, as now they shoot down the back straightaway. Austin Baum still hung up on the inside, trying to keep that position. Doc Connor's going to follow him. Three-car breakaway outside turn number four right now. Brian Bear, Sean Smith, and Connor Popowell. Those top three down the back stretch looking strong once again. Pulled away just a little bit. David Baines back there by himself in fourth. And you got Trent Bear 
fifth. Looking at it right now, don't count out that number 16 of Heath Hilton. He is trying to shoot his way back up through the field right now. As well as here comes Chuck Barnes Jr. Chuck Barnes Jr. now moves to the number six spot. Chuck Barnes right there making a strong move on the inside as he tucks in behind Trent Barron at 23, and he sets his sights on fifth place. Here comes Chuck Barnes. He's not done yet. Chuck Barnes Jr. going to overtake the number five spot. They'll come around and complete lap 47. Chuck Barnes Jr. will be shown on the board now, full, uh, under fifth place now. And you see Sean Smith looking at the inside of your leader. Sean Smith now battles to the inside of Brian Bear for the number one spot. They're side by side. Beating and banging right now for the number one spot off turn number four. Good race right there. Sean Smith, he's going on the inside. More contact into one. They gather it up. Here comes Connor Pepewell looking. He gets out of it. They get back in line down the back stretch into three. Beating and banging as they do. Brian Bear, Sean Smith, Connor Pepewell. That's going to allow David Baines to get up in the mix now. So here comes Dave Baines right behind the top three. Yes, that allows him to gain some ground on him. It's a four-car battle up front right now. There goes Connor Popowell now down on the inside of Sean Smith. Connor Popowell now shoots to the inside. Here we go. He's going to move to the number two spot. A great move by Connor Popowell moving around the 86, completing lap number 50. 50 down, 150 to go. 50 laps scored now. A new second-place driver in this 50 laps. That is Connor Popowell moving to the number two spot. Dalton Connor back there works underneath the number 23 of Trent Bear. He will gain a position. Top four cars all in turns four right now. They are all on the line right now. Some good racing there for a while. Everybody's settling in right now. We'll see what we got. Connor Popowell looking in the inside down there. He's looking strong right now. He's ready to make a move. Connor Popowell all over the back bumper of Brian Bear's number 99 car. As they exit turns number four right now, it is Brian Bear, Connor Popwell, Sean Smith looking on back from there. A lot of other drivers, 16 of Heath Hilton, trying to work through the field from that issue he had a little bit earlier on. Kevin Wilkerson now slows down in the number 61. He'll possibly bring that car down PNC pit road. He'll come out of four this time, completing lap number 53. Brian Bear. You're still your leader, but he's got Connor Pepewell continuing to look to that inside coming out of two. He gets a good run, tucks in behind him. Connor Popowell gets a good run inside, and the exit of turns number two. He tried to pull into Brian Bear's number 99, couldn't quite do it. Still Brian Bear on top here, lap number 54 up on the board of the 200. Down the back stretch they go. Connor Pepewell again looks to the inside. Goes back behind Bear. Sean Smith right there behind him as well. David Baines trying to keep up with him. 55 laps down. Down in turns number two right now. Still Brian Bear leading this one. Connor Popwell in the second spot. Sean Smith third. Dave Baines in the fourth spot. Chuck Barnes Jr. He is way back, but he is top five right now. Where it counts for the number 44 car. 55 laps up on the board. Everyone doing a great job around the racetrack here this afternoon. So far, early on in the Halloween 200. Into turn three, your leaders go. Single file. Ticking off the laps one by one. A good long stretch of green flag racing going on right now. As your leaders have pulled away from everybody else, but a whole bunch of cars in a line back there. Fifth battling behind the 44 Barnes. You got the 05 Blaine Aiken, Brett Hudson in the double zero, Austin Baum in the 74, Dalton Connor in the 20, Trent Bear in the 23, your top 10. Top 10 doing a great job all around Salem Speedway as the battle. Here comes Connor Popowell now. He gets another run here, Hawk. He goes into turns three, trying to get to the inside of Ryan Bear. Connor Popowell liking that run out of two, trying to make it work. He's tried it several times. 
tucks back in behind their leader again. Next time by, we'll have 60 laps up on the board. Next time by for Brian Bear. There it is. The lead is there for Brian Bear. The other two trying to reel him in. The 19 of Connor Popowell and the 86 of Sean Smith. Dave Baines, he drifts back just a little bit from those three, and then we have to go way back to Chuck Barnes Jr., who is right now in that fifth spot. 60 laps up on the board, 140 left remaining to settle this one here at Salem Speedway on a beautiful fall afternoon here at Salem, Indiana. Of course, you see the 48, Craig Luther out there. He's several laps down. We see him pit before. He is actually running very strong right now. He's right there in the middle of the leaders, but he is several laps down. Brent Bear continues to lead him, coming out of four, completing lap 62. As Connor Popowell has settled in right behind him now, going to ride a little bit. Sean Smith right there as well. But Connor Popowell keeps liking to look at underneath, coming out of two, trying to find that good grip right there and good, good momentum, because that's where he's wanting to make that pass. Yeah, Connor Popowell doing a great job on the exit of turns number two, but Brian Bear strong all the way around the track here at Salem Speedway. Looking on back, a lot of gaggle of cars right now. The 33 of Parham right there on the inside. And you have five cars over here Whoa. all mixed up. You got Connor Papa almost into the wall down there. He lost control of it. I thought for sure he's into the wall. Gathered it back up. We'll keep an eye on that car. Brian Bear trying to get through to Joe Cooks. He's number 51 machine. So down the back straightaway, almost a close call with Brian Bear and Joe Cooks. He's number 51 as well. So close call there with your leaders. But right now, looking at Chuck Barnes, Jr., Blaine Aiken, Brett Hudson, Austin Baum, and Dalton Connor. Now, we see this a lot in the Halloween 200. Once we get to a certain point, those back fast cars will catch the front of the field. Is the front cars really using too much of their stuff right now, Hawk? That is something we're going to have to keep a look on. They are setting an awful fast pace. We got a lot of green flag laps, and they are gaining on a bunch of those cars. They do not want to go a lap down. 66 laps up on the board right now here today in the Halloween 200. Brian Bear still on top. Connor Popowell and Sean Smith rounding out your top three cars. Still Dave Baines in the top four spot. 67 laps coming up on the board this time by. All green flag except one caution flag for the number 44 of Phillips, but all otherwise green and clean. We've seen the 48. Craig Luther has some pretty fast laps there, but he gave way this time to 32. David Baines let him go by the, your fourth place running car. So David Baines now has some clean air in front of him. We'll see if he can gain on those top three. More problems for the 61 of Wilkerson. He's just trying to stay out of the way on the apron as he goes down the front straightaway. But there is your leaders coming out of turn number four right now. The 99 of Brian Bear still setting that pace with 69 laps upon the board in the Halloween 200. And for those of you watching at home on Dirt 2 Media, you can see that real close and called right here. Real close up action of Brian Bear, Connor Popowell, and Sean Smith right now. They have all been battling most of this race so far. And here we are at lap number 70 this time by. Yellow flag out, yellow flag out. Not sure what we got, maybe some debris on the track. And the caution flag gonna come out for debris in turn one is the call and the reason for the caution flag. So that's the second caution flag of the afternoon. The first caution flag was for the 44 of Phillips, second coming at lap number 70. And that was for debris in turns number one. So right now, your top three class is the Sean Smith, number 86. Right now, he is third, and Connor Popowell, second, and Brian Bear leads this one here at lap number 70. Now, we've talked about it. Is those three cars running too hard right now? Because there's a lot of fast cars, including Chuck Barnes Jr., Blaine Aiken, H Brett Hudson. A lot of those fast runners back there saving their equipment, it looked to be so far. Yes, this is exactly what they wanted, a caution. A lot of green flag laps right there. 
as we mentioned, those front running cars were about a half lap ahead of everybody. And it, if it kept on going, they was going to gain on it. But now this is what they wanted, bunches up the field. So now what the call is, 11 of Gettelfanger just pit it too soon, too soon. So he will start at the tail end as a penalty. But a lot of cars down on that apron. That can only mean one thing. A lot of cars possibly once pit road is open will come down to PNC pit road to the attention of their crews. We're less than 30 laps shy of the halfway point. So fuel, Sunoco race fuel, and here we go. Here comes your leaders into pit road right now. As Dalton Connor stalls over in turns number two, we'll have to keep an eye on that, and he keeps going now. Here comes your leaders to PNC pit road. And it looks like we got a long line of cars coming in. A lot of your leaders right there coming in. You They're see. All. Brian Brian Bear. Well, go ahead. Ryan Bear right now, you can see it there on Dirt 2 Media. He's going to go to his pit stall as well. So that crew going to go to work on that number 99. Dave Baines pulls in to the attention of his crew, putting in that Sunoco race fuel, checking over the front of that car as well. Connor Popwell going to do the same thing. You can see Alan Williams Jr. crew going to work, putting fuel in that car as well. So a lot of fuel stops right now. Don't see much of tire changes right now. Brett Hudson going to do the same in the double zero machine. So it looks like this first pit stop for the Leaders Hawk here at Adams is all about fuel right now. Yeah, they're getting the fuel, maybe making a quick adjustment here and there, and off they go. You see a lot of them out taking off. Brett Hudson away. There you see the your leader, Brent Bear, over there. Brian Bear, excuse me, he's taking off now. Popwell right behind him. And Sean Smith, too. One, two, and three all came out right there. One, two, and three picking up on the tail. So we'll see where everybody settles in at after this pit stop. Remember, we're going to have the choose cone as well. So everybody's going to be in shuffled around in what we have been seeing here on these green flag laps. It looks like Chuck Barnes Jr. at the time being shown as your leader. I don't believe he went in. So it's going to be interesting to see now as we shake up the field here with 73 laps shown on the board here in this Halloween 200. Not quite yet to the halfway point, so still plenty of time. Yes, indeed, plenty of time indeed here in the Halloween 200. And, of course, we'll see how it goes, but you can see your leaders through the back of the pack as they pit it this time. So it was the strategy to pit early like some of these guys did, so now you'll see a change in the adjustments here. of what's going to happen here. Behind the Eddie Gilstrap Motor Space Vehicle, right now the class of the field, those three cars, and you have to keep an eye on them. As Dave Bain's going to come back down PNC Pit Road, as well as Trent Bear's number 23 machine. So right now, just getting the lineup straight here around the track here. So they're going to have the number 51 of Joe Cooks. He passed the pace vehicle to go to the tail end. He'll get the wave around. So the 44 of Chuck Barnes Jr. now. As we see the Eddie Gilstrap Motor Space Vehicle, now we're going to have to choose yet again here.
So what they're telling them on the radio, 32 and 23 at Trent Barrett, you'll go behind the number 38 because of the lap car. So they will move up behind the number 38 of Alex Ware. That is the call so far on that before we get ready to double up and choose here at Salem Speedway. All right, we got everybody in line where they need to be now, race officials say. So this time around, we will do the choose cone. So we'll see who wants to go to the inside, who wants to stay to the outside. And as they come across the stripe this time, it will officially be 76 laps in the books. Chuck Barnes Jr. now being shown as your leader. And he will obviously take that high side. Dalton Connor into 20, going to stay on the high side. There goes Austin Baum down on the inside. Chuck Barnes Sr. outside, and Heath Helton to the inside. How about Heath Helton? We talked about the number 16 driver a little bit earlier. Pit it too soon. He had that penalty and then got that penalty. But here we are at lap 76, and now the 16 has moved into the top five right now. And that's Heath Helton, as you can see on Dirt 2 Media Broadcast here, watching at home. Beautiful look at the number 16 machine of Heath Helton. But the outside, the 2023 CRA Street Stock champion, Dalton Connor. Yeah, those gentlemen having a good run there in that second row right there. Heath Helton has to be happy with where he is right now. As you said, what happened earlier, a little bit of a penalty, but he is right in good good position. Dalton Connor in the 20, really in a good spot right now. So as I said, things were looking like they were settled in for a while, but cautions can make a big difference in this race, and sure has. It has shook up the whole lineup right now, so we're getting ready to try to go green next time around. Wanting to go at the line here for the next restart of the afternoon. So this is what we're seeing in pit stops. You know, those who pitted earlier, it's a little bit of strategy now. Those who chose to pit this time, they'll have a little more fresher car than the other ones on fuel. So we're going to find out what's going to happen here. Can Chuck Barnes Jr. get out front and lead some consecutive green flag laps? Or will one of the other cars try to challenge? You have Austin Baum up there, Dalton Connor, Heath Helton, Chuck Barnes Sr., and Kobe Lane now. Eddie Gilstrap Motors Pace Vehicle picks up speed. He'll go down PNC Pit Road and race fans another restart from the Halloween 200 as we get ready now sees the number 44 Chuck Barnes leading us to the green flag. And the green flag is out. We are back underway. Chuck Barnes Jr. shooting out to the lead. Bomb settles into second. There's Heath Helton on the inside trying to hang on to third with Dalton Connor on the outside. Yes, indeed. Here we go into turns number three and four. Right now, it's Chuck Barnes Jr. still on the inside. It's Heath Helton's number 16 machine. They come down to the stripe right now, and that is the number 44, Chuck Barnes Jr., Austin Baum, and Dalton Connor, your top three. And Heath Helton settles into fourth place with Chuck Barnes Sr. right behind him, rounding out the top five. Once again, Kevin Wilkerson going to take that number 61 into the pit road right now. As they now complete lap number 80, 120 laps to go here in the Halloween 200. Now, the question is, how quick can the others get through? Now, here's another developing story. We saw all day Connor Popowell was second and third. How about this? Connor Popowell, two cars in front of Brian Bear and Sean Smith now. Yes, he's got the better advantage right now. Looks like he's running eighth, and Bear, Brian Bear's back there 11th, and Sean Smith right behind him 12th. Connor Popplewell now making the move on the inside of Pirtle on the 77, trying to make his way back up on the board. Yes, indeed. There comes Connor Popplewell watching him work through the traffic as we speak, trying to track down each and every one of these cars as Chuck Barnes Jr. still leading this one with 82 laps up on the board. Doesn't take long to get around Salem Speedway in one of these street stock cars here today at Salem Speedway. Eighty-three laps now being shown on the board. Chuck Barnes Jr. leading away. Austin Bob now having a good run here right now. 
during this stretch. Holding down second with Dalton Connor right behind him, third. And on back just a little bit, Heath Helton in the 16, putting a little distance between him and the five car. Right now, Trent Bear being black flagged right now in the number 23 machine. So Trent Bear going to have to bring that number 23 down PNC pit road. Your top three looking good going into turns three and four. They'll come around complete oh, lap number one five. Car losing an engine. It looks like Blaine Aiken zero five machine up in smoke. A lot of smoke coming from the 05. Caution is out, obviously. So we'll have to check conditions. This could really make the track slick down there. We'll have to see what kind of delay we have here on this one. But the 05 going up in a big puff of smoke. Yeah, I just kind of looked up turn three, and you saw that engine kind of detonate. Don't know if it was the engine or just the hose let loose, but uh, we're going to find out. Track crew not seeing a lot down there, but uh, we'll find out what's going on. We can't hardly see from up here. But it looks like there is a spot a lot of the crews are pointing to. You can see them down there on pit road, as we do see it. So pits are closed right now, except for the number 05. He's going to have to bring that car to pit road, trying to stay on the apron. Tough break for Bowling Green, Kentucky's Blaine Aiken. Up in smoke and just happened all at once, and uh, that's just the product. You never know when it's going to happen. But tough break indeed for the 05 machine, and that's going to bring us to another caution flag at lap number 86. Just about 14 laps shy of the halfway point here in the 35th running of the Halloween 200. So there you see in turns three and four on the replay watching at home. Just went up in smoke for the 0-5 machine. There's nothing he could do about it. So Blaine Aiken, 0-5, tough break for that young man. And there you see Blaine Aiken being pushed down PNC pit row by the Wilcox Towing and Recovery Record Service. And his crew going to be awaiting on that car to survey the damage internally on that 0-5. So tough break once again for him. As the Impact Rescue Safety Team looks to clean up a little bit of debris to research the track, Hawk Harold Adams, what about our lap leader sponsors here today? Yeah, we'll take a look at some more lap money here. There are all the leaders on these laps get an extra 10 bucks from these fine sponsors. want to thank everybody. We've been listening to them all afternoon. We are up to lap 169. Bottle Rocket sponsoring 169. Brett Hudson Motorsports, 170. SP Carburetors, sponsoring 171 through 174. Brett Hudson Motorsports, again, on 175. SP Carburetors, 176, 177, 178, and 179. Thanks to SP Carburetors. Brett Hudson Motorsports, 180. Shane Wilson Lawn Care, sponsoring 181, 182, 183, 184 and 185 thanks to Sean Wilson Lawn Care. LC Lawn Care taking care of 186, 187, 188, 189 and 190. Thank you to LC Lawn Care. MR Heating and Air Conditioning 191, 192, 193, 194, 195, 196, 197, 198, 199 and 200. MR Heating and Air Conditioning rounding out. 200 laps of sponsor money for the lap leaders. So the word is going red flag conditions now for the debris. So track crew going to have to do some work here on the track. So red flag out right now on the racing surface. And, of course, all of the pit crew down there very happy to see this red flag because what this could mean is more damage for a lot of these drivers here in this event here today. So red flag of the event, Hal, here at lap number 88. 
for the detonated engine of Blaine Aiken, 05 machine. So going to take a bit, brief little break here in the action. Red flag at lap number 88 race fans. Good time to go get something to eat and drink. Concession stands are open. So we're going to take a brief break here. Good time to go get you something to eat or drink. We'll put some music on here. A little bit of a lengthy delay here for the track safety as some oil let down by the 05 of Blaine Aiken.
crew still cleaning up everything out there on the racing surface. We do appreciate the cooperation from you great fans out there. Of course, the detonated engine of the number 05 of Blaine Aiken was the reason for the red flag. 88 laps upon the board. Hawk Caradanos were 12 laps shy of the halfway point. So right now, Chuck Barnes Jr. finds himself after that latest pit stop up on the top with Austin Baum, Dalton Connor, Heath Helton, and Chuck Barnes Sr. Now that penalty earlier from the number 16, he is scratched all the way back up to that fourth spot. Always good to see Heath Helton running good out here. He is your 2023 Great American Stock Points champion here at Salem Speedway. But a long way to go. There's different strategies going to come into play as well. So as the track crew gets this track back underway here a little bit, back into good racing shape, a lot of mess left behind from the 05, of course. So we stop the cars on the back stretch. But once we get them going here in just a moment, I'm sure a lot of those cars are going to head to the pit area. They've had a chance to kind of take a little breath over there, get a little break, and sit there and think about things. And uh, pit crew's all waiting. So I'm sure we're going to see a lot of activity down PNC Bank pit road here in just a moment we'll see what these guys want to do yeah i'm looking at the pit stop pit stop procedures the pit stop is mandatory in the first 100 laps a lot of these guys already um making that happen at least one green flag must be completed before you can make a pit stop a lot of rules and procedures in the halloween 200 of course a pit, pit stop is mandatory between lap 101 and 200 as well pit stop can be just driving through the pits and pit road speed so a lot of different things go in to make it a pit stop here at Salem Speedway. Of course, we have the lucky dog. And, of course, at the time of the caution comes out, the first car behind the leader, one lap down, will be deemed the lucky dog. Of course, that is in NASCAR as well. Of course, very, very strict tire rules here. Of course, six tires will be marked prior to the race this afternoon. Marked tires must be on the car at all times. In an instant of a flat tire, the tire must remain in the pit stall until the official given approval. Two marked tires and two spare tires will be allowed in the pit area. All of the tires must be removed from the race. No, no alternating tires are chemically, of course, the tire soaking. That's another thing that a lot of tracks nationwide are very much watching the tire game here as well. So... The call has been given. We are getting ready to go back under yellow flag conditions, which means the Eddie Gill Strat Motor Space Vehicle going to be able to fire up with the field in tow. 88 laps up on the board, 12 laps shy of the halfway point here in the 35th running of the Halloween 200. Beautiful afternoon. There's no clouds in the sky. They all scattered. Beautiful sunshine. And now we are going back yellow. Engines begin to fire around the speedway. And here we go. Yeah, and you can see Travis down there on pit road, and you can see up on the wall there, there is parts actually from the engine of the 05 of Blaine Aiken. So that is what Travis down there on the inside retaining wall looking at right now. Part of the block and pistons as well down there off the 05 machine. That gives a whole new meaning to blowing an engine right there. I mean, that's going full bore. But yeah, we are back under caution now. So we're going to bring the cars around here. We're going to get things situated, and we're going to see what we got here on these pit stops. Yeah, and Travis knows about engines because Travis Kern Racing Engines, he is an engine builder. So he knows all about the ins and outs of those engines. As now here comes John McLaren 06 machine. He is going in. Now we see Dave Baines over there in the 32 stalled out, trying to get that car refired. So this is something we're going to have to watch. Hopefully, Dave Baines can get that car refired. Yeah, it's interesting about Dave Baines over there. Those cars sat over there for a long time. Now the 32, Dave Baines, that car does not want to refire. So we're going to see what the situation is here on this. And here we go. Cars are going to come down pit road this time by down PNC pit road. Here they come. 
Let's see if we have any takers. That is, you see Brett Hudson's double zero and Calvin Parham's number 33. They're going to come down pit road as they just opened PNC pit road. Looks like Dave Baines getting a little bit of a start. Now, sometimes when these cars sit for a long time, it's hard to refire them, and they just need a little bit of a jolt, and that's exactly what it took to get the number 32 of Dave Baines moving again. So it looks like that time around, only the 33 and the double zero went down into pit lanes. Oh, interesting. These guys are going to stay out there right now, as it appears, and stay where they're at at the lap 88 point. Yeah, like we talked about rules and procedures, you have to pit between 1 and 100. A lot of these guys already making that achievement. But you got to also pit between 101 and 200 as well, and I'm sure that will happen as well. So a lot of different factors going into the Halloween 200 weekend this weekend for the street stocks, of course. Safety team looking at the high side, down the back straight away. Pit road busy right now. You can see John McLaren's number 06 down there. Not the day that John McLaren was wanting. Getting ready and set for the restart ever so much. A lot of these teams wishing this restart would come on sooner than later. So you can see the safety team back there working on the back straightaway as well, trying to get all that debris up off the racing surface. You do not want these cars to hit that debris, that's for sure, with these slick tires, the Hoosier Racing tires. Are we So the Eddie Gilstrap Motor Space Vehicle in turns number three has the field in tow, just waiting for the safety team to wrap up their work on the back straightaway. A lot of guys having tough luck as the day has went on here at Salem Speedway. You can see John McLaren out of the car. That car is going to be parked in the infield. So tough break for John McLaren in the 0-6 team. Yellow flag still out on the speedway. Can't thank all of you race fans enough for coming out with us here this weekend. Be looking out on social media, Facebook, Salem Speedway, for information on the 2024 schedule. As they are working hard on getting that schedule out in the offseason, pretty early if you will. So make sure you tune in to SalemSpeedway.com and Salem Speedway on the Facebook page, social media. As looks like the safety vehicle is going to be able to pull into the infield, that's a good sign as they're close to wrap up, clean up efforts here at Salem Speedway. Lap 88, red flag for Blaine Aiken, 05, who lost an engine inside or outside turn number three.
So this time by, I got to get the word to two to go and choose. Two to go and choose. They will choose this time by. The word is to choose this time by. Either choose high or choose low. We're going to find out this time by before the restart. After a lengthy red flag delay here at Salem Speedway, lap 88 up on the board, 12 laps shy of the halfway point. Here we go. And they will choose this time by as the Eddie Gill Strap Motor Space Vehicle goes down on the apron. Chet Barnes Jr. going to choose high. Austin Baum going to choose low. Dalton Connor high. Heath Helton low. This is interesting now, Hawk Harold Adams, because as we've seen, Austin Baum not scared, but now Dalton Connor on that in outside row number two. Yeah, interesting move there by a couple of the drivers, but... We'll see how it plays out. Austin Baum wants to stay up front there. He's having a good run so far. So he'll start on the inside of Chuck Barnes Jr. And at 44. So Dot and Connor be on the outside row two. Heath Helton on the inside of row two. Chuck Barnes Sr. be on the outside row three. And there's Connor Popperwell on the inside row three. So they get the one to go signal this time by by Flagman Barry down there up on the stand. The Eddie Gilstrap Motor Space Vehicle going to take the field exiting turns number four right now. Down the front straightaway they will go. One to go at the line. It's going to be Chuck Barnes Jr. setting us to the restart next time by. So lights are out on the pace vehicle. Now this is going to be a little bit tricky. You have to wonder how the track is this time. So we're going to see how it goes. Coming to the restart, Eddie Gilstrap Motors pace vehicle. Going to pick up speed, entering turns number three right now. Getting ready, finally, for the restart here in the Halloween 200. They bunch up, entering turns number three, PNC Pit Road. That's where the pace truck is going. Here we go for the restart. Chuck Barnes Jr. leads us to the green flag. All right, we'll see here. Chuck Barnes Jr. on the outside. Coming out of four this time. Going to complete lap number 89. It's Chuck Barnes Jr., your leader. Dalton Connor in second. So now Chuck Barnes Jr. gets back to the number one spot. He is comfortable now. Austin Baum on the inside. He's going to drift back. Heath Helton now moves to the number three spot on the high side. Coming out of four to complete lap number 90. Austin Baum now falling back to fifth place. That's Brent, Bar uh, Brent Barrions right there in sixth. And Connor Popplewell right there with him. And Sean Smith, those Hot runners earlier in the race. Here comes Sean Smith to the inside of Connor Popplewell. He'll try to go to the inside of the number 19. He will not do it. Has the momentum on the high side. Chuck Barnes Jr., Dalton Connor, and Heath Helton, your top three cars, exiting turns number three, two right now. Going down the back straightaway. Chuck Barnes Sr. comfortably right now in the top five with Austin Baum, 74 as well. Cars come out of turn four, single foul, completing lap number 92. Chuck Barnes Jr. looking good, but Dalton Connor right there with him, right on that bumper, coming out of two. No doubt, and looking on back through the field, Dave Baines trying to get through as well. He is kind of stuck in the middle, if you will, after that restart. So Dave Baines trying to work that number 32. He's got plenty of time to do it. He's just got to figure out something. And, oh, Dave Baines, something on the number 32 is let loose on the number 32. Yeah, he got real squarely coming out of four. Lost a lot of momentum. He is still off the pace. Not a good sign for Dave Baines, number 32. He's going to have to bring that car inside PNC Pit Row. Tough break for the number 32, who has built momentum all 2023. Meanwhile, up front is still Barnes Jr., Connor second. There's Heath Hilton third. Barnes Sr., fourth. Austin Baum rounding out that top five. 
Top five ND coming to 95 laps. Five laps share of the halfway point right now for the Great American Stocks. Contact through the back of the pack there between Calvin Parham and Bruce Burke in the 08 machine. Looking on through the field as well. Now we're closing in on the halfway point. This is going to be very interesting to see how the second half of this show is going to go. 96 laps complete now as we near the halfway point. Dalton Connor, a strong Sega behind Barnes Jr. right now. So now coming to 97 laps for Chuck Barnes Jr. and Dalton Connor and the number 16 of Heath Hilton, your 2023 Great American Stock Diesel Boys LLC champion here at Salem Speedway. In returns one and two, still Chuck Barnes Jr. Now, when will we see the middle of the pack cars start to move back? You can see all led by Brian Bears, number 99. That was the same three cars we seen at the beginning of the Halloween 200. Yeah, as we complete number 98 here, we almost at the halfway point. Still a lot of laps to go, but those cars, I'm sure they're happy with where they're at right now. And we see Austin Baum on the inside of Chuck Barnes Sr. Now has to back way out of it. Looks like a caution coming out here. Caution on the speedway. We might have some debris possibly up in turn three. See something up there shining off the bright sunshine that we have here. So pits are closed. Of course, we're just being towed. So getting ready to close in on the halfway point. Not debris up in turns three. I believe something was in the middle of the track is what they called. So that is the reason for the caution flag. So 99 laps. So we're approaching that halfway point. Chuck Barnes Jr. looks really good right now, Hawk Carroll Downs. But you have to believe that line all led by Brian Bear. We saw those three cars lead most of this race to start out. That was Brian Bear, Connor Popowell, and Sean Smith. And those three cars right there were charging to the front. As we see on the scoreboard now, the brand new Salem Speedway scoreboard showing 100 laps down, 100 to go. So we are officially at the halfway point. So here we go over the halfway point now. You have to pit from 101 to 200. Now, from there on out, it's mandatory. You have to pit from 101 to 200, and that is the next pit stop. So somewhere in that timeline. But this is interesting. We have Chuck Barnes, Jr., then Dalton Connor. We talked about it. Big story coming in. He was the 2023 CRA track champion in the street stocks. In that number 20. Hey, how about this? Dalton Connor, one outlaw figure eight win this year. How about that in the number 20 machine? Picked up a win at the Indianapolis Speed Drum. Of course, his father, John Connor Jr., outlaw figure eight driver as well. So how about that? CRA champion already has one figure eight win in that number 20 machine this year. Yeah, well, we know all about the figure eight racing and the outlaws. So Dalton Connor showing his versatility, showing his skills. He can drive anything, and he's doing a good job out here on these high banks. So pits not open. So I believe they will pass this time. The next time by, pits will be officially open. So they'll go by one more time. Next time by, teams will get the double-up formation. They will come down if they elect to PNC Pit Road. Now, are teams going to do this? You have to between 101 and 200. Now, if you do it next time by, you don't have to worry about the rest. But can you make it on fuel? So this is going to be the game of strategy. And Chuck Barnes, Jr., he was one of our early pitters. 
So we'll have to see what happens here. Dalton Connor. Now, you see Alex Square. He's going to the inside because he is going to pit next time. And we'll see who goes with him. Justin Pirtle's number 77, as well as Kobe Lane's 21. And a lot of the other cars are going to pit as well. Tough day for Trent Bear. A little bit of smoke still coming from that number 23 machine. He's going to try to limp that car down the pit road. So tough break for the St. Anthony, Indiana driver. So it looks like Alex Ware, Kobe Lane, Justin Pirtle, Tyler pa uh, Hopkins, and Doug Gettelfangers, number 11 machine. Here comes Trent Bear as well in the number 23. They'll come by and come down PNC Pit Road. So pits are officially open right now down PNC. You don't want to pit too early, or that is a penalty. That is a pass-through penalty. So you do not want to pit early. We've seen that a couple times already. And here we go. Alex Ware going to take the number 38 down to his crew. So as you see, you can only change those right side tires. There will be no four tires. I repeat, no four tire stops here in the Halloween 200. Alex Swears had pretty good year. I mean, just bad luck here and there. He was oh so close to his first win this year in the Diesel Boys Great American Stock Series. As you see, two fresh tires on the right side of Alex Swears. Lefevre curbing, slapjack machine entry. Doug Gettelfanger going to pull through in the number 11 machine as well. And a little more smoke coming from that 23 of Trent Bear. have to know that he is worried about that car. We keep seeing the puffs of smoke kind of come from that number 23 entry. So we'll have to keep an eye on that 23 of Trent Bear. Kobe Lane, he's going to pull away as well. Of course, we've seen Jeff Lane, his father, in a modified car, asphalt modified, up at the Mount Lawn Speedway many times. You know, these racers, Hawk, you know all about them. I mean, you know, it's different. It's cool how the versatility and the different scenarios. I mean, we have modified drivers. You have dirt drivers out there. You, you have everything from figure eight drivers. It's pretty cool to mix in this street stop field. Yes, it is a good mix. Everybody likes this race. And, uh, you know, just like you said earlier, Tyler nicely wanted to give it a try. Unfortunately, his day ended early, so we did not get a chance to see him battle the high banks for very long, so maybe he can give it a whirl again next season. So everyone now who pit it coming out, and you can see Trent Bear. Uh, I believe that ain't Trent Bear. That is the number 51 of Joe Cooksey. Couldn't see because of the sunlight shining in here, but uh, tough break for Joe Cooksey. We saw him compete yesterday in the Salem Supercars. That was their championship, and congratulations to Will Kimmel's number 69. He picked up the championship in the Salem Supercars yesterday afternoon here at Salem Speedway. And that wasn't the 51. There goes the sunlight. It's Kevin Wilkerson. My apologies. Sometimes the press box's sun kind of shining down on us. We couldn't really see the numbers, but that is the 61 of Kevin Wilkerson. And the Diesel Boys, number 61 entry. Justin Pirtle, Kobe Lane going to come back down PNC Pit Road. Next time by, going to double up and choose next time by. So the Eddie Gilstrap Motor Space Vehicle going to lead them by over the halfway point, 95 laps up on the board. When we go back, green flag, going to have 93 laps to go once we go back for the restart. Mm -hmm. 
So here we go. Pace vehicle's going to pull to the inside apron. We will choose this time by. They'll double up after that. Chet Barnes Jr., I have to say he's going to stay on the high side, and he will. How about... Ah, he played a little game there. Dalton Connor, he tried to get somebody to go with him. But Heath Helton now moves to the inside front row in the number 16 machine. So that's very interesting. Here comes Austin Baum. He loves that inside. He'll line up on the inside of row number two. So, yeah, it looked like Dalton Connor was going to follow along there. Instead, last-minute decision going in behind the 44. So, yeah, Heath Helton now will move up to that front row inside. You got Austin Baum there behind him in row two. Row three now. Looks like the 99 and the five, the five on the high side. And then you got Connor Popperwell in the 19 and Sean Smith right behind them. Yeah, going to be one to go at the line for the restart. 106 up on the board this time. will be 107 for the Great American Stock Cars and the Halloween 200 today over the halfway point. So there we go. One at the line. This time by for Chuck Barnes Jr., number 44 team. Dalton Connor showing some speed late in this race. Lights are out on the base vehicle, getting ready to see the restart. Look at the crowd. They bunch up, working down the back straight away. Behind the Eddie Gilstrap Motor Space Vehicle, he will pick up speed. We know how this works, race fans getting ready for the restart yet again. Will we have some consecutive green flag laps? We're going to find out here. 107 on the board, 108 going to be up on the board next time by. Pace truck pulls in pit road. Chuck Barnes Jr. set for the restart. And down they go, and the green flag is back out. We're back underway. Heath Helton now trying to keep pace before there. A little bit of contact. Oh. Heath Helton bolts out to the lead. A little bit of contact between one and two. So the 16, Helton, now your leader. Barnes back to second. Heath Helton now the number one spot right now. This is the first. Oh, Chuck Barnes gets real loose. Coming out of turn four. Now Brian Bear goes to the inside. Brian Bear slips up into Chuck Barnes. Close call there. Both drivers going to save it. A lot of scrambling around down through the field there. They get through him. Barnes is still going, but he is really in a lot of trouble. Now Alex Ware, but possibly tire issues for the number 44 of Chuck Barnes Jr. We'll have to keep an eye on what happened with that number 44. Don't exactly know what happened. But now here comes Austin Bob to the lead. Austin Baum now loses it just a little bit. Now Parham. Wow, Hawk, what a development story here later in the going. A lot of things happen here. A lot of cars slipping and sliding. The track must be a little bit slick with all the debris that's been on the track. A lot of cars sliding up there between turns three and four, it appears. Trying to keep this going. Don't know exactly what was going on, but Chuck Barnes Jr., good save by that young man. Now here comes Brian Bear. Brian Bear makes his way to the inside of the number 16 of Heath Hilton. Now he'll take over the number two spot. He's trying to go now behind the number 74 of Austin Baum. Brian Bear now looking good again in the 99. He about hit the inside wall trying to avoid Chuck Barnes Jr. earlier. So 113 laps up on the board. Chuck Barnes Jr. just not the same after that. Here comes Brian Bear. Brian Bear trying to come to the inside of Austin Baum. They pass the stripe once more, heading off into one and two. Still the preferred groove up at the top. It is Austin Baum trying to keep that position. Here comes Brian Bear right behind him down the back straightaway. That 74 Baum really having a great run here this afternoon. And the 99 having all kinds of trouble trying to get around him. Heath Helton right there in a strong third. There's Dalton Connor fourth. Sean Smith fifth. Your top five. Then on back, you got Chuck Barnes Sr. and Connor Popwell in the 19. There's Brett Hudson in the double zero. 
Brett Hudson, don't count out that double zero. The Owensboro, Kentucky native. He's back there in this freight train as well. As once again, they go down the back straightaway. Chuck Barnes Jr. trying to gather himself back up after that melee exiting turns number four. But right now, Brian Bear all over the back end of Austin Baum and Heath Hilton right there with Dalton Connor and Sean Smith. Chuck Barnes Jr. back there battling it out as well. Coming down the front stretch to the inside of Joe Cooksey. Here we go. Here comes the double zero of Brett Hudson. Now peeks to the inside of Connor Popowell's number 19 machine. First time we've talked about that double zero all day, but he's going to make a move here. He's going to try to get on up there and get up in the mix. Little bit of a close call with Alex Swears, number 38, Perry Whitson, and the number 51 of Cooksey. But yes, double zero of Brett Hudson on the inside of Connor Popowell's number 19 down the back straightaway. But here comes on the high side, here is Allen Williams Jr.'s number 85 now taking a spot from the double zero. Yeah, Allen Williams Jr., he's looking strong right now. He was in the back of that pack right there. He's moved up ahead of double zero, so he's having a good run right now. No doubt about it, and the 74 of Austin Baum continues to lead, coming to 120 laps up on the board. It's going to be 80 laps to go in the 35th annual Halloween 200, presented by Kentucky Anna Ford Dealers. Your leaders continue to go single foul down the backstretch now. Everybody just trying to get their laps right now as we are coming around to get 121. Everyone's staying green right now. Now, Chuck Barnes Jr. has done a great job recovering. That could have been disastrous, but right now he is 10th, so still top 10 for Chuck Barnes Jr. He needs to take a deep breath. He's got plenty of time here in the Halloween 200. Yeah, he almost thought that the 44 was going to have to pit after that situation, but he has gathered it back up, so we'll see how strong he is the rest of the way. Chuck Barnes Jr. trying to reel in the double zero of Brett Hudson right now going down the front straightaway. They all enter turns number three and four. Everyone kind of gathers it back up. Austin Baum still ahead of this freight train doing a phenomenal job. 123 laps up on the board. Here we go. How about Heath Hilton? He's still in that number three spot all trying to get around Brian Bears number 99 right now. Connor Popplewell back there trying to get around Chuck Barnes Sr. The 74 of Austin Baum having a fantastic run here right now during this green flag stretch. He is actually pulling away just a little bit. Yes, he is, and there's the top five pulling away a little bit from Chuck Barnes. Here comes Connor Popowell to the inside looking for six to Chuck Barnes Sr. Hundred and twenty-five laps shown on the board now, seventy-five to go. So we're getting closer and closer. These guys are ready to move. Uh, Heath Helton almost in the back of the 99 there, had to back out just a little bit. Everybody's good right now, coming out of three and four to complete lap 126. No doubt. Great job by the number 74 of Austin Bomb by staying in front of these. Now, he's putting a little bit of distance now between himself and Brian Bear's number 99 car. So how about the speed later in the going for Austin Baum? Yeah, he's looking really good. As you look back there, I've been watching that battle between the 99 and 16. It appears Bear might be struggling a little bit. He seems like he's just not quite as sharp as he was earlier. Heath Helton trying to look. And now he's looking to the inside. There he goes. Yeah, Brian Bear. I don't think everything's going right on that number 99 right now. He seems really tight right now later on in the going here. We'll have to keep an eye on that number 99 as 16 of Heath Helton gets by him here for the number two spot. Doug Gettelfanger on the inside apron just trying to stay out of the way in that number 11 machine. So Heath Helton now in the second. We'll see if he can gain up on the... The, your leader, the 74 of Austin Baum. And on back there, Bear trying to hold off Dalton Connor, Sean Smith, and Connor Popperwell. Coming to 129 laps upon the board in the Halloween 200 race. Everyone just trying to stay clean right now and do the best they can to get up to the back of the pack. But right now, a challenge for the number one spot for Austin Baum as Heath Hilton has reeled in your leader. 
Keith Helton got a little squirrely out of two right there, gathered it back up, didn't lose a whole lot of momentum, but I think he was looking to the inside. We'll keep an eye on that in turns one and two. Turns one and two indeed. Now Brian Bear trying to hold off the number 20 of Dalton Connor. Dalton Connor has a run coming out of turn to number two. They race down the back straight away into turns number three and four. Dalton Connor trying to make work of the number 99. 99 has a little bit of smoke coming from that left side. There goes Heath Helton down on the inside of Baum. Coming out of two, and now there goes Dalton Connor making his move up in the third. Yeah, something going ill on the number 99. A little bit of smoke from Brian Bear now in that number 99 car. Don't know if it's a tire up, but yeah, something going ill on the number 99. We suspected that a few laps ago. Did not look 100%, and now he is falling back. Tough break for Brian Bear. Don't know exactly what's going on. Hopefully he can keep that car up there. But Austin Baum now leading this one. 133 laps up on the board right now. Green flag so far as now Brian Baum has fallen back to that number five spot. I believe now six spots. And he is going to have to lose some more here shortly. And looks like he will. Tough break for Brian Baum. Or excuse me, Brian Bear is number 99. Austin Baum that time had to shoot to the inside of Gettlefinger there. Almost danger there. Heath Hilton came right with him. He's staying right with him. As Austin Baum continues to lead and pick up a lot of that lap money. Absolutely. Still Austin Baum, Heath Hilton, and Don Connor, your top three. Sean Smith and Connor Popowell, your top five. Chuck Barnes Sr., Allen Williams Jr., Connor Popowell. He is doing good. Second place in the points, but uh, now Bruce... Birch, I believe, off the pace. He'll take that car down pit road next time by a little bit of smoke out of the 08 machine. Your leader's coming out of turn four to complete lap 136. They pulled away a little bit from the third place car, Dalton Connor, but Heath Helton put on a lot of pressure, looking to the inside a lot on that 74 car coming out of two. Yeah, no doubt. Good battle for the number one spot. Seen to be most of the day, Austin Bob. But like you said, we're approaching slower traffic now between your leaders. So now we're finally possibly going to be seeing how the lap cars are going to come into play here momentarily. Austin Bob trying to hold off Heath Helton in that 16. And there goes Popwell now on the inside of Sean Smith for fourth place. Connor Punk. Up in the fourth now. As your leader's approaching that pack of slower cars, and also Dalton Connor now closing in on those top two. Yeah, we talked about it, approaching lap traffic as well up ahead. Austin Baum going to be seeing the back end of this pack as well. Austin Baum on the high side, Heath Hilton on the inside, and Dalton Connor rounds out your top three. A couple of laps earlier, Connor Popowell made a good move on Sean Smith. He looks like he's picked up some more speed now. Connor Popowell seems to be on the move as well as your leaders coming out of four, completing lap 140, approaching a lot of lap traffic. Yeah, we saw it down the front straightaway here. Here comes Austin Baum. Now he'll try to go under Trent Bears, number 23, a lap down. Now here's what's going to happen. Once a leader passes the lap car, the second place guy has to pass him as well. And this is where you don't want to get them too far apart, so he's got to stay with that number 74. Both cars go to the high side of the 26. Now, Dalton Connor guy got a little hung up back there a little bit. He makes it around safely now. Connor Popowell, he's right there. He has to make a decision now. He kind of has to hesitate a little bit. Now he goes to the high side. Chuck Barnes Jr. now makes his way under Allen Williams Jr. in the number 85 machine. So Allen Williams Jr. trying to jockey for position, doing a great job of staying out of trouble today as more smoke out of the number 99 of Brian Bear. So I have to keep a close eye on that number 99 still with 142 laps upon the board. As they're making their way through that lap traffic, Austin Baum put a little distance between him and Heath Helton, and Heath Helton's got two slower yep. cars side by side in front of him now. So there's what we just talked about. The most cars that Austin Baum puts between himself and Heath Hilton, it's only going to help. And now you can see Austin Baum extending that lead. 
Heath Helton having trouble there with the slower cars of 51 and 77. There he goes, look out. 51 into the wall a little bit in turns three and four. Keeps it going. Keeps it going, and we that is Joe Cooksey's number 51 car as he bounced off the outside three and four turn wall down at the exit of turns number four. Great that he gathered that car back up. Good save. Next time by, going to have 145 laps up on the board, 55 laps to go. So you get through that lap traffic there very well for your leader. 74 Austin Baum extends his lead out a little bit. Heath Helton still second. Connor Dalton Connor is a third. There's Connor Popowell now right there with him in fourth. Connor Popowell trying to stay up there and have a fight at the end of this one, as well as Dalton Connor. Great run by the CRA 2023 champion up there in that number 20 machine running third right now. Well, now no lap cars are between first and second, so now can he Pelton try to reel in that number 74 of the MR Heating and Air Bombs Racing Supply number 74. 147 now on the board. What a really nice run here for the 74 of Austin Baum, trying to surprise this field. Always a good, strong running car, but he wouldn't be one of those ones you put up there. We haven't talked about a whole lot, but he is having one whale of a run here right now. Yeah, he's got a second spot this year. Podium runs for Austin Baum. Always searching for that win. Of course, we all know how the 2022 Halloween 200 went for that gentleman. What a redemption this would be coming into tonight. But he has a long way to go because next time by, going to have 149 laps upon the board. As your leaders go around turns one and two, you see 16 Heath Helton now closing in on your leader, Austin Baum. They have caught up with him now as they had that clean air. They're going to come around this time. We're going to see 50 laps to go at this point. 50 laps to go. The final 50 in the 35th annual Halloween 200. And Austin Baum finds himself out front with Heath Helton and Dalton Connor and Connor Popowell. All four cars, top four, going down the back straight away. So Austin Baum exiting turns number four right now. Right behind him is Heath Helton's number 16. How sweet would this be? If he could win the championship and the Halloween 200 in the same year, pretty impressive. But here he comes all over the back bumper of the number 74 of Austin Baum. Yeah, he's definitely caught up with him now. He is right there. Cotton, Dalton Connor and Connor Popowell both right there. So one, two, three, and four, bumper to bumper. Bumper to bumper indeed. Now a slower traffic once again. Oh, watch out. Problems for the number 16 of Heath Hilton now. Heath Hilton, something clicked over there and turns one and two, Hawk. A little bit of a bobble. Not sure what happened, but Dalton Connor took advantage of it, and now he is running second. Don't know exactly what happened there. May have gotten loose, may have something happened, but we'll keep an eye on the number 16 of Heath Hilton. Don't know exactly what happened. Like you said, just maybe a little bobble. We'll see. He loses that spot to Dalton Connor now. Dalton Connor in the number two spot. Austin Baum in front so far. Coming to now 154 laps up on the board. With well, that situation now, it's given Austin Baum a little bit of breathing room again. So things working really good for that 74 car right now as he puts the 48 down another lap. Coming up on Kobe Lane on the 21 now. Yeah, Kobe Lane doing a great job standing out of trouble in the number 21 team. Coming to now 45 laps to go. Austin Baum, like you said, doing an incredible job. Chuck Barnes Jr. still hasn't really fought back to get up there. Now, this is usually where we see the time where Brett Hudson kind of comes on when we get under that 50 laps. But unfortunately, he just can't do anything. As you see, Brett Hudson and Chuck Barnes Sr. and Chuck Barnes Jr. now entering turns three, while Austin Baum is already down in turns one and two. Those drivers are probably driving and thinking they are waiting for that caution to come out to get up there to make their run here down the final stretch. They need it badly. Yeah, great to see consecutive green flag runs here in the Halloween 200. And there it is. Craig Luther now hits the wall and slides down to the apron.
As we were saying there, some of those drivers back here through the field, Brett Hudson, Barnes, they were all waiting for this caution, and there it was. So they got plenty of time now with 157 on the board, going to bunch up the field. This is going to be an interesting restart from here on out. Well, remember what we said. You have to pit between 101 and 200, and you see all the inside cars. They are your front runners right now. Next time by, I believe, we'll see what race control does. Believe the pits will possibly come open. Austin Baum has to pit, too. Now, here's what we're going to have. Dalton Connor right there in second. Heath Helton in that third spot. But look at Connor Popplewell up there, two-time winner in 2023. Sean Smith up there. We talked about it. I know exactly what Brett Hudson and Chuck Barnes Jr. were thinking, too. They are happy to see this caution flag come out here with just less than 50 laps to go as caution laps are still going to count here. Yeah, they were waiting for this all along. It's come right at the right time. Of course, Austin Bob did not want to see that. But we're going to see here the pit strategy is going to be huge here this time around. Okay. The word is no more competition yellows here on out, so they will pit this time. You'll see most of everyone come down to PNC pit road this time. Kobe Lane in the 21, your beneficiary of the lucky dog this time by. So the number 21 of Kobe Lane gets that. Here we go, all led by the number 74 of the MR Hitting and Air Bombs Racing Supply, number 74 of Austin Bomb. A lot of activity there on pit road as you see everybody making their moves there it looks like most of them are taking on those two two tires on the right side seeing austin bomb down there very critical they had the lead there on this caution we'll see how he handles this after the restart everybody else scrambling around trying to get everything done you see chuck barnes senior heading out there goes brett hudson and the double zero headed out Heath Helton now done. Chuck Barnes Jr., all of them. Dalton Connor now just now coming down off of his jack stand. He's still sitting there, and he is now moving. So it looks like Austin Baum here trying to get that car off the jack, and he will go away here. So the 74 of Austin Baum pulls away as well, and you can see him down there working. On the number 85 of Allen Williams Jr., now he pulls away in the Auction Hub Wheelers Tow and Recovery Entry. So here we go. We're going to have less than 40 laps when we go back green flag racing. And this is where it counts. This is where it goes. This is where aggression picks up. Don't count out that double zero. We've talked about it. The double zero, the Fisher's Tow and Recovery of Brett Hudson, the Owensboro, Kentucky native. Always tough later in the goings as well as Chuck Barnes Sr. Don't forget Chuck Barnes Sr. Already a win in 2023 here at Salem Speedway. We're going to find out how it all goes here later going in this race. 160 up on the board officially. So we get everybody out of pit road and back onto the track here. We'll sort things out. We'll see how the lineup looks once we get to choose cone. But, yes, it does look like Brett Hudson has put himself in a good position in that double zero with Connor Popowell right behind him. So getting everything worked out, situated here at Salem Speedway. Twenty-one of Kobe Lane gonna bring that car back down PNC Pit Road. So the seventy-seven of Justin Pertle gonna pass the pace vehicle and go to the tail end of the tail here for Justin Pertle's number seventy-seven. Now it gets interesting because this is exactly what we're going to see here. Aggression's going to pick up. Now that's exactly what Brian Bear wanted to see too. He needed that pit stop. He really needed that pit stop. So that was great for the number 99 of Brian Bear as we saw a little bit of tire smoke is what I suspected it to be on that number 99 machine. So here we go. Getting everything sorted out. 161. On the board, next time by, going to double up and choose. This could be the most important choose, as we've seen many consecutive pit stops here at Salem Speedway today in the Halloween 200. So getting ready and set, everyone getting in their positions. 
as we get ready. There's some cars that didn't choose to pit up front. How long can they stay there? I don't really know. With the fresh tires behind them, it's going to be very interesting to see. So Alex Ware, Hopkins, they've already pitted. So they've already made their mandatory pit stop. Now Alex Ware finds himself on top of the board. First time leading this afternoon. Less than 40 laps to go, 38. So it'll be 37 laps to go once we see the green flag wave. But look who Alex Ware has under him who just took two right side tires. Who did I talk about? Brett Hudson's double zero. Yeah, Brett Hudson not afraid to go to that inside groove here on this restart. Definitely, he wants to bolt out there to the lead, take off, and leave the rest of the field. But we'll see what happens here the rest of the way. 162 laps down. And do we get any more cautions from here out? We'll have to see. So this time by, the lights are going to be out on the Eddie Gilstrap pace vehicle. As right now behind him, Alex Squares, number 38, and the double zero, Brett Hudson. Then looking on back to row number two, you have Tyler Hopkins up in the top five now with Connor Papa Wells, number 19, on the inside. Looking on back from there, you have Heath Helton's number 16, and Chuck Barnes, senior, in the number five machine. Then Austin Baum, who had a slow pit stop. That's why he is back in the field just a little bit. So we're going to have to find out, can that number 74 get back up there and compete for a win before this one's over? 163 up on the board. Here comes Joe Cooksey. He'll tag the rear end of the field. This could be the most important restart of the afternoon. Don't know how it's going to be. Aggression going to pick up here momentarily. So now we all know what's going to happen. We've seen it many times. The Eddie Gilstrap Motor Space Vehicle picks up speed. And, oh, boy, Alex Ware now set to bring us to the green flag to the restart. 163 up on the board. It'll be 164 once they take the green flag. And here we go. Alex Ware going to lead us to the green flag. Kind of a slow start right there. They gun it out of four. Green flag is out. Alex Ware trying to outrun Brett Hudson around turns one and two. A little bit of contact, but it's the double zero. Here comes Connor Popwell on the inside. Yes, indeed, and Tyler Hopkins going to go back off the field as well. So now Brett Hudson in the lead. Connor Popwell in second. Alex Ware in that third spot. Chuck Barnes Sr. rounds out the top four. 165 laps upon the board. Barnes Sr. to the inside, and there goes Austin Baum on the outside, moving back on the board to fourth. Matter of fact, the five car way down low, having a little bit of trouble there off the pace. Chuck Barnes Sr. off the pace. Don't know what's happening with the number five of Chuck Barnes Sr. Tough break for the number five car. But here comes Connor Popwell behind the number double zero of Brett Hudson. But here comes Austin Baum. Austin Baum's looking good in that 74. He wants back up or he puts himself into third. 167 laps up on the board. Here we go. As the number five of Chuck Barnes Sr. going to come down PNC Pit Road. There goes Connor Popwell on the inside of Brett Hudson. They're side by side going into turn three. Side by side for Brett Hudson and Connor Popwell. Connor Popwell is going to have the lead so far. Here comes Brett Hudson to the high side. A good battle up front, a good battle on back to Connor Popwell gets sideways, gets into the double zero. They hang on, they both go. Brett Hudson back into the lead. We go. It is getting intense. Austin Baum right behind those two here today at Salem Speedway. Don't know what happened up front, how those cars are going to act right now. But Austin Baum in your third spot. 169 laps next time by 30 laps to go. These guys are battling hard all the way through the field here up front. Everybody trying to get up there and chase those leaders up there. Brett Hudson and Connor Popwell, they want to run away from them, but everybody's trying to chase them down, completing lap 170. Don't know exactly what's going to go on here with the double zero. Don't know if he has a tire up or what. We'll have to keep an eye on that. We don't know really what's happened there. And we look on back, uh, Austin Baum still having a good run, but look who's in fourth, the 44, Chuck Barnes, Jr. 
So there is a little bit of tire smoke off the double zero of Brett Hudson, so we'll have to keep an eye on that and see if this car can last less than 30 laps. And now Connor Popwell going to try to close in on the double zero of Brett Hudson once more. Looking on back air too, we got Heath Helton on the board fifth in that 16. He's trying to gain up the leaders too. A good battle still, Austin Baum trying to hold off Chuck Barnes Jr. for that third spot. Chuck Barnes Jr. all over the back end of Austin Baum right now, the number 74 team. So how about the recovery from Chuck Barnes Jr.? Brett Hudson and Connor Popplewell right now exiting turns number four down the front straightaway. Here they go to turns one and two. Two-car battle for the number one spot. They once again go down the back straightaway. Brett Hudson now. Austin Baum still has that third spot with Chuck Barnes Jr. right behind him. Also, Heath Helton is right there with that mix of the 74 and the 44. Good battle, third, fourth, and fifth. What a race we're getting to here later on today here in this Halloween 200. Next time by, going to be 25 laps. Next time by, left to go. Here comes Chuck Barnes Jr. in that number, 44 to the inside of Austin Baum. Trying to gain that advantage. He makes contact with the 74. They hang on. He goes wide. He felt him to the inside. They all keep it straight. They make contact, yes, indeed, and they all gather it back up. What an intense run here later on in the going, but two-car breakaway for the number one spot. All that jousting around back there for third. The top two has pulled away a little bit. More room for them to work. But it's Connor Popwell keeping the pressure on that double zero, Hudson. So here we go, two-car battle. They are the class of the field right now. Good to see Austin Baum, Chuck Barnes Jr., and Heath Helton gather it back up back there in third, fourth, and fifth. But now 177 laps coming up on the board. Connor Popwell all over the back end of Brett Hudson. One seventy-seven on the board, so time is starting to tick away here. We're getting closer and closer. On the back stretch, you see side by side there. It looks like the sixteen underneath Chuck Barnes. Yes, indeed. Here comes Heath Elton, number sixteen, is on the inside of Chuck Barnes Jr. to try to take over that position right now. But still, the number nineteen machine all over the back bumper. Brett Hudson's double zero down the back straightaway once again. Checking on everybody around. Craig Luther's going to slow down just a little bit there. Still a little bit of smoke coming from Brett Hudson's double zero machine, but here comes Chuck Barnes Jr. Barnes trying to make that move on the inside. Baum making it really tough with a strong run again. Maintains that third spot. We are coming down to the final 20. The final 20 laps in the Halloween 200. Brett Hudson and Connor Popowell, your top two. Here comes Chuck Barnes Jr. into the inside of Austin Baum right now, exiting turns number three, four. Brian Bear trying to get past Sean Smith as well. Everybody trying to make their moves now. It's go time for sure. And there goes Chuck Barnes Jr. Gets a good run on the inside and makes the move past Austin Baum. So Chuck Barnes Jr. now moves into the number three spot. We'll see how that all ends up. Brett Hudson now making a little bit of distance between him and second place, Connor Popowell. So we'll see if Chuck Barnes Jr. now can make any ground on those top two. They've gotten away a lot. We're looking at 182. Look out! Pa Connor Popowell. Oh, up in a bunch of flames coming out of four. Look out down there. Red flag out. in flames and there he is race fans let's give him a round of applause get out of that car that's for sure man another car detonated good yeah. to see connor popowell climb from that car you saw it it just let go and flames everywhere literally a ball of flames right there turning backwards i tell you he got a thing quick too i imagine things were getting pretty warm inside there Man, I, I hate to see that, and uh, they're going to check, and uh, he's sitting on the outside, inside retaining wall there, and family checking, and you don't want to see any driver go through that, that's for sure, as a very scary incident for Connor Popplewell. Tough break, they're going to check on him, and good to see that young man okay walking out of that car. Yeah, very unfortunate. He had such a great run, and everybody was having such a good battle on the racetrack. He was right there trying to battle for that win, and now 
Look how quickly things can change. Just an FYI, all golf carts, please move them off pit road. That is what race control is needing. We need to make sure all golf carts are off pit road, please. Thank you. So just tough break. He was battling there with Brett Hudson's number double zero. And we talked about Brett Hudson. Once he got those right side tires, we knew he was going to be a force to be reckoned with. And uh, class of the field here today, Connor Popplewell, tough break for that young man as he finished second in the 2023 Diesel Boys Great American Stock Points chase. Then 20 laps to go. So talking about it, I mean, it was attrition. We talk about that. These races, 200 laps, a long way around, anything can happen. We have saw Blaine Aiken go up in smoke with the Pistons going through the block. And then, of course, now we see the number 19 of Connor Popowell, just something breaking on that car and just up in flames after that. But good to see that young man out of that car and with that helmet off. Hawk Harold Adams, this is going to set up some intensity because it's unfortunate how we got here, but I know a couple of guys who are happy that came out, and that was Chuck Barnes Jr. and Austin Baum because now they're going to be lining up behind Brett Hudson. Yeah, they had lost a little bit of distance here between those top two. A fierce battle between 44, 74, and 16, but, yeah, as you said now, this is going to close things in. And just those of you on PNC Pit Road, only one, one crew member can take your driver a bottle of water. One crew member, that is the word from race control, one crew member can only take uh, their driver a bottle of water. We just can't touch the cars under red flag conditions, but we want to make sure these drivers are hydrated. So one crew member per car that is still racing on the racing surface, you can take uh, your crew a bottle of water. Once again, race fans, there he is. He's got his helmet off. Give Connor Popowell a round of applause. Great to see that young man walking around. You never want to see that happen to anybody. Great young man, and that car is going to go down PNC Pit Road. So they're going to evaluate just Connor Popwell, just take and make sure no burns or anything. A fire suit can only do so much as far as protection goes. So they're going to evaluate him and the Washington County EMS team. We thank all of our safety crew. You can see the number 19 going down pit road right now with the Eddie Gilstrap Motors record service. So once again, crew members, crew members, you can deliver the water, but you need to exit the track once you give that water to them. Once again, crew members, one water, poor driver, and then you have to exit the track, please. Thank you. So here we are, 19 laps, Hawk Carroll Adams. Brett Hudson looking very good here in the later going of this event. Now, another thing that we're going to have to keep track on, a little bit of smoke we saw from the double zero, just a little bit of a tire rub possibly. We'll have to keep an eye on that, but right now, Brett Hudson setting a blazing pass out here at Salem Speedway. Yeah, you know, we didn't really talk about the double zero throughout most of the race until towards the end. And uh, as you said, you know, he come on strong and right now leading the way, but showing a little bit of smoke, you know, and now Connor Pepperwell is out of the mix. But you wonder about the 44 Chuck Barnes Jr. You know, earlier looked like he was going to be out of the event. He had that little trouble there. He fell way back but stayed out on the track, and you th I thought maybe something happened, but he has pitted since then, so he's looked strong since. Well, the caution flag with Craig Luther that came out really saved a lot of these drivers, to be honest with you, because they came down and made their mandatory pit stop because lap 101 to 200, you have to make a mandatory pit stop in the second half of the Halloween 200. Now, that may have saved a lot of these drivers because after that pit stop, we even see Brian Bear gain a lot more speed from where he was, and that kind of saved him too because we saw some smoke out of Brian Barrett, possibly a tire up, but he got that fixed. So a lot of this caution flags kind of help you a little bit, but um, 
it's getting ready to get intense. I mean, you have Austin Baum and Chuck Barnes Jr. right behind Brett Hudson now. Now, the double zero of Hudson and Chuck Barnes Jr., they've raced many street stock races together, so they know how one another kind of out there on the track very well, so the moves they're going to make. So it's going to be interesting to see how this one goes, but let's talk about something else. Chuck Barnes Sr., losing something on that number five, tough break for that young man. Yeah, had a pretty solid run going there, and something happened there. It was way off the pace there, and you see him there on pit road there, and pretty much a disappointing finish for that number five car. Had many, many good finishes in this race, to say the least, through the years. So always like to try to get as many good finishes as he can. But not going to happen here today, but possibly a win for the 44. We'll have to wait and see. A lot of good racing to go in this final 19 laps. So, of course, you can definitely see. Now, this is going to be another uh, kind of stone tossed into the fire because now exiting and entering turns number four you have a lot of debris there so the track crew going to try to get that all up and set but we don't know how that's going to race as well exiting turns number four so a lot of different scenarios in this 35th running of the halloween 200 still left to be decided as we get ready for yet another restart and this one going to be the most important restart Either inside or outside. Now, we've seen Austin Baum. He loves taking that inside lane. That's how he got the lead earlier. So you have to think, will Austin Baum take that inside? Will Chucky stay to the outside? So we're going to find out here momentarily. So going to just take a little brief break here, just give our voice a little bit of a rest, getting ready and set race fans for the restart. 19 laps to go here in this event here tonight at Salem Speedway.
So getting ready to go back under yellow flag conditions. They are going to transport Connor Popowell, I believe, just to, for a further evaluation. So our thoughts and prayers are with Connor Popowell as he climbed from that car. So getting ready and set for the restart, possibly the final restart of the afternoon. So here we go. We talked about it. After we get all of this through and ready to go, we'll get the uh, family across the track here before we go back to green flag racing. So they're going to let uh, Connor Popwell's family kind of go across the track and get them out of here. So what are you expecting, Hawk, on this restart here? Yeah, we'll have to see what the uh, drivers want to choose here on this choose cone. Very important what the strategy will be this time around, as this could be the final cautions. So it's go time for all these drivers now up front. The ones that were back there a little bit at lost pace. This is it. This is their time. It's anybody's ball game at this point. As they roll through here, they're going to run through the dust there a little bit a few times, I'm sure. So we'll get a few laps in before we go green. And before we go to the choose cone, we'll see what we got. So now you can see turn three almost fully in shade over there on the back straightaway entering turns number three. So making sure everything's good around the speedway before we double them up. So not going to waste any time. Two to go and choose next time by is the call. Two to go and choose next time by. So this is going to be interesting, Hawk. We talked about it. Usually Austin Bomb loves choosing that inside groove. So we're going to see what happens here. Now, depending on what those three drivers do, Heath Helton's going to look and see where he wants to go, as well as Sean Smith. Good recovery by Brian Bear as well in the number 99 machine. So getting ready and set to the choose rule. This time by, you see the cone down there in front of the starter stand. Here we go. So, double zero of Hudson going to choose the high side. And how about that? Chuck Barnes Jr. goes to the inside with Austin Baum. How about it? So now this is going to give outside row two to Heath Helton's number 16. Very interesting indeed. Chuck Barnes going to go down on the inside. He wants that front row. But Austin Baum following right with him. Heath Helton on the outside as well. Now you're going to see... Sean Smith on the inside of row three. Brian Bear on the outside of row three. So going to be one to go at the line this time by for the Eddie Gilstrap Motors Pace Vehicle. 19 laps to go inside 25, not counting caution laps. Going to be green flag laps from here on out. 
Last event of the 2023 season here at Salem Speedway. Hard to believe the 2023 season is complete at the conclusion of this one. But here we go. One to go at the line. Going to be interesting to see how this one finishes up. Brett Hudson has the lead. There is Chuck Barnes Jr. choosing the inside front row as well as third place running car, Austin Baum. And that's going to give the high side advantage to the 16 of Heath Helton. But don't count out Brian Bear. Brian Bear back there behind the number 16 on the high side as well. So here we go. Now exiting turns number two. How aggressive will this start go? you got to know it's going to be aggressive. Eddie Gilstrat Motor Space Vehicle picks up speed. Here we go. Entering turns number three right now. Side by side, Brett Hudson and Chuck Barnes Jr. As we get ready for the restart, 19 laps to go in the Halloween 200. And here we go. Green flag is out. Side by side, a little bit of contact up front. Chuck Barnes Jr. with the advantage, shoots out to the lead down the backstretch. Chuck Barnes Jr. now in head in the number 44 machine. How about that, making the inside work. Chuck Barnes Jr. has the advantage. Brett Hudson right behind him, battled for the number three or four spot. And Austin Baum hung up down on the inside. Heath Hilton goes up to third. There's Bram Bear up to fourth, and Sean Smith trying to get fifth car breakaway for the number one spot coming to 183 laps up on the board. How about Chuck Barnes Jr. in that number 44 machine? He leads the way right now where it matters the most at 183 laps complete. Coming out of four now, the 44 going to complete lap 184. Trying to stretch that lead out. Looking good right now. Red Hudson there trying to keep pace. Heath Helton, does he have anything to 16? There you see. Battling back there, the 99-86 in the 20 and the 74, all right there in the line. 15 laps to go in the Halloween 200 presented by Kentucky Anna Ford dealers. Chuck Barnes Jr. and the double zero. Brett Hudson, one and two. Heath Helton in third. Brian Bear in fourth. And Sean Smith rounding out your top five. Out of four down to shoot. 186 on the board. Chuck Barnes Jr. stretching out the, out the lead just a little bit at a time. Over Brett Hudson. You see Heath Helton closing in a little bit on third. There's some movement in the back. There's Dalton Connor in the 20 underneath Sean Smith. Underneath Sean Smith trying to take over that position with 187 laps up on the board right now. So right now, Chuck Barnes Jr., Brett Hudson, and Heath Helton, your top three. Good battle for the number four spot. Here comes Dalton Connor underneath Sean Smith and Brian Bear. Good run right there for the 20. Dalton Connor trying to make it stick on that inside. Little puff of smoke out of Dalton Connor's number 20. We'll have to keep an eye on it. We'll have to see what's going to happen. That's definitely where the battle is right now. They're side by side down the backstretch right now. Dalton Connor trying to gain that fourth spot. So a little bit of dust, I believe, down there with the quick dry is what we're seeing for Don Connor. So just a little bit of debris down from that concrete dry is what we're seeing. Everyone going through that dust. But how about Chuck Barnes Jr. coming on late here with 10 laps to go. Good battle for this coming out of four. Yeah, real good battle back there. Don Connor running strong on that inside groove. Trying to gain that fourth spot from Brian Bear in the, four, in the 99. Dalton Connor still on that inside. Dalton Connor now falls back just a little bit now. Sean Smith with a good run there. And now look out, a little, little contact there in one and two. Everybody hangs on. Near disaster for those four cars right there. No doubt about it, absolutely, as they are trying to get through right now. Dalton Connor trying to take over the number three spot right now, barely. 
Still going to be the 99 of Brian Bear in that fourth spot. As the top three cars, Chuck Barnes Jr., Brett Hudson, and Heath Helton. But the battle on the track is for that number four spot. They're battling hard down there, coming out of four. Brian Bear still with the advantage over everybody right there, but there's Dalton Connor running strong on that inside groove. Sean Smith now bolts up a little bit. Dalton Connor now moves back up to the high side. Meanwhile, up front, Chuck Barnes Jr. just trying to pace himself right now, keep a little distance between him and the double zero. And that he is doing. He's going to come around. He's going to see five to go, five laps left to go. On back there, that big battle back there. Brian Bear still holding him off. And that battle for fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. That's where the race is right now. You see Dalton Connor looking back down to the inside of the groove. Can't make it happen. 196 on the board. Brett Hudson, does he have anything left? He is giving it his all now. He's trying to inch up there to Chuck Barnes Jr. If he has anything left, it's right now. And Heath Helton back there in the sixth team, he's trying to give it all he can. He's not far back either. But only three laps remaining. Three laps remaining in the Halloween 200. Down the back stretch they go into turn three. Brett Hudson trying to track him down, but you see two to go signal now. Two to go. Brett Hudson trying to get up there. We got some lap cars in front of him. I don't know if it's going to play into it or not. We'll see. Craig Luther stays way down low for your leaders. And your leaders come around. White flag in the air. One lap to go for Chuck Barnes Jr. in the 44. Brett Hudson in the double zero. Trying hardly. Hard to get into something. He gets a little squirrely going in hard. Into the final two turns. Chuck Barnes Jr. in the 44, comes out of four, down the straight, and wins this year's Halloween 200. Brett Hudson in the double zero, second. Heath Helton, third in the 16. And it's going to be 99, Brett Bear fourth, and Sean Smith, fifth. So after all of that, you see Chuck Barnes Jr., who had some trouble earlier in the race, almost giving up on him, but just a minor little bobble there. And things played in for him here down the stretch, made some good pitch strategies, and there he is, your winner, the 44, Chuck Barnes Jr. Will Greenwell gonna make his way down there to the track, get some interviews with the top cars, the top five here on the front stretch. A lot of great storylines in this race throughout as usual. Chuck Barnes Jr. coming away with that victory here today. Absolutely, Hawk Harold Adams down here getting a big congratulations from the crew here in the number 44 machine. Chucky Barnes Jr. parks it in victory lane here in the 35th running of the Halloween 200 presented by Kentucky Anna Ford Dillers. What a race it was. Picking the inside was the way to go. He's out of the car, race fans. Chucky Barnes Jr. wins the Halloween 200 here today at Salem Speedway. Well, down here right now, and uh, we'll get a word with your winner. I'm going to let him breathe a little bit, all these interviews right after a race like that. Chucky, man, we talked about it. I know you're calling your wife here, but, uh, man, the inside was the way to go. We talked about it. And how about it, my man? 
Oh, it was, uh, man, what a wild day. Um, uh, I don't know what happened off turn four there, but I guess I was one of the first ones in the oil or uh, if I dropped the oil or what happened, but uh, it, it got pretty shaky there for a second, and, and uh, we rebounded a uh, good team in the pits, got us out quick, and uh, <laughs> was able to hustle it there to the win. Well, I know we saw Craig Luther bring out the caution there, and I know that your crew was happy to see that. Of course, a lot of people needed that yellow flag run. You came in, made some adjustments, you went back out. All the other half of the field seemed like they were stronger to later in the run, but, man, that inside choose, you made it work to Brett Hudson. Yeah, we got lucky there. Uh, you know, he raced me clean. I'm lucky of that. He's a good driver, and uh, obviously he's always tough to beat wherever he's at. Good job. Well, who would you like to thank on this 44? I know it's a beautiful piece, and I know uh, Scotty, he's thrilled right now. He said, man, he almost gave me a heart attack. But, uh, man, who would you like to thank on this 44, my man? Uh, all these guys right here. You know, that's what makes it happen. You know, obviously Scotty and his family, and then, but all these guys that take time away from their families to come up here and, and work on some silly race cars uh, to make them go fast. So uh, just lucky to have all these guys. Uh, United Mechanicals here. Um, uh, Dennis Roby from uh, Derby City, he's here. So we just got some good people on our car to, to support us. And being our race engines, uh, obviously that's we got that restart done. Um, so I don't know where spec racing engines is located, but uh, BNR is right there on New Cut Road in, in Fairdale, Kentucky. That's where you need to get them done at. Well, there he is, your 2023 Halloween 200 winner. It is Chucky Barnes Jr. We'll get out of the way here of media, and we'll get... And we'll get Mr. Brett Hudson up here with me real quick. We want to make sure we can hear him. We're going to use the cord mic here tonight, and we'll get a word with all the top five finishers. Well, Brett, I talked about you on the broadcast. You know, we didn't talk about you in the first half of the race, but we knew your team would get you out there during the second to make some noise. And Chucky there on that last restart chose the inside, made it work over in turns number one. But, man, what a great effort between your double zero team. Yeah, uh, we had a lot of strategy there with fuel. Uh, we don't have a dump can, quick fuel, so we had to pit multiple times. Kind of got us hit behind in the beginning, but uh, pit stop was perfect. You know, we beat everybody off pit road. And, uh, you know, got the lead there, had a little contact down here with uh, 19, uh, able to save it. Was looking good there until that caution come out. Uh, car just didn't handle very good after we pitted with the new tires. It was way too tight, and that's basically why he passed me down there. I mean, we was – side by side going in and I just couldn't turn and uh, I gave it a little shot there at the end got close but it just wasn't enough well second place run you got a heck of a team behind you who would you like to think on that double zero uh mom my dad spec racing engines uh kickstand fab fishers key stop and recovery that's a machine shop uh all my crew uh big crew that comes out every race and uh family little girl she's wild but, uh, and uh, all the fans are coming out well congratulations second place run brett hudson and nick bohannon he's doing a great job with this track so we appreciate that exactly what i was thinking myself good job and we'll get the 2023 diesel boys great american stock third place finish heath helton heath man what a race you know we saw that penalty earlier about pitting but man we talked about it you recovered so well in this race yeah, uh, that kind of sucked, but I didn't agree with it, but it was what it was, and it, we didn't turn out too bad on that. So, Well, third place run, this choose kind of plays a lot of factors in this, as, of course, we saw the last restart. You had the double zero on the high side. Chuck Barnes decided to go inside as well as Austin Baum. You had the outside uh, trying to make it work, but a third place finish here this afternoon. Yeah, good finish. Um, can't thank everybody enough, all my crew, family. It takes a lot of time to do, put into this. And Nick at the track, Diesel Boys for the season for us. Uh, most important, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Um, it's just it's a good finish. Not what we wanted, but uh, it's good. Well, the 2023 track champion of the Great American Stocks, there he is, third place, Heath Helton here tonight here at Salem Speedway. And we'll get Brian Bear up here with us and Sean Smith. If those two guys could come up here, we'll get a word with your fourth and fifth place finisher here at Salem Speedway. 
The bird's eye bullet, Brian Bear. Brian, man, what an effort today, man. We we kind of saw, you know, we talked about it. You were pretty much out there with Connor Papua and Sean Smith the first half of this race. We saw a little bit of smoke from the car. You got that caution flag with Craig Luther's 48 machine. You came in, made adjustments. Man, great job by rallying back for a fourth-place finish. Yeah, the car was the car was great on short runs. Long runs, it was, it was terrible. We had tire rail. I was kind of worried about that right rear tire blowing out on me. So I was letting everybody go, just kind of. Wanted to finish the race, hoping that caution had finally showed up for us. Yeah, but uh, you got a heck of, uh, of a crew behind you, of course, all your fans in the stands. And, man, who would you like to thank on that number 99 for a fourth-place run here this afternoon? Well, I got a bunch of people. I don't forget a bunch of them. But i going to start with uh, Brandon Hooker, Diesel Voice. Uh, he gave me a ride for the last two races here. So got to thank him a bunch. Uh, my crew, my wife, my kids, everybody. I got a bunch of people in the stands here. A bunch of them. Appreciate it. Thanks, thanks for everybody. Uh, Nick. You guys put a great show on this weekend. Well, there he is, fourth place run. The bird's eye bullet, Brian Bear, rounds out your top four. And now, Mr. Sean Smith, fifth place run. Sean, I just talked to Brian about it. You, Connor, and him were the class of the field in the first half of the race. A lot of variables. Caution comes out. Connor Popwell, Blaine Aiken dumps some fluid out. That put a little curveball into the things around here. But, man, fifth place run for your team today. Yeah, uh, that's a good run for us. We've only run a couple times this year. Been um, – been busy fixing race cars and um, just ain't had time to get out of here. And um, we used those last two races kind of for a tune-up for here. And, and we got the car um, a lot of bit, quite a bit better than before. Um, it's still not exactly there where I want it, but um, but like I said, it it's finished up here on the board. So anytime you get on the front stretch, it's a good day. Well, I mean, these cars are so close in times these days, and with these Hoosier tires, man, it kind of puts a little bit of thrill in it. You can only change the right side. Just so many variables going into today, but, man, you got a top five. Who would you like to thank on the 86? I, um, I got a lot of people to thank. Uh, it, it was hard getting up here, you know, the economy the way it is, and tires, fuel, everything's expensive. I like to thank uh, Derek Hansen. Everybody knows him as the heavy hitter. Uh, I helped him on his figure eight car, and uh, he got my tires. And uh, Jeff Caldell with Interstate Fuel Injection, uh, Tim Sebastian with Tim's Body Shop, um, uh, three, uh, Sam Breedlove, Breedlove Automotive, Al Vindy. Uh, he owns Jesse Tunney's car. I, I help a lot of them guys. I help them. They help me. So it all works out. Uh, uh, John Connor, um, uh, we I, we worked together on both those cars, and, and we finished right there, fifth and sixth, and battled it out. And uh, without all these people, um, just couldn't get up here to make it happen. And also, like they, uh, uh, Rocky Stice, he loaned me one of them good SP carbs and uh, kept me up front. Well, there he is, fifth place run, Sean Smith. And once again, race fans, let's give your 2023 Halloween 200 champion a round of applause. Chucky Barnes Jr. picks up the win in 2023. And race fans, on behalf of the Bohannon family and all of us here, Hawk Carroll Adams, Will Greenwell, we'll see you next year here in the 2024 season at Salem Speedway.